And just a reminder, the Scranton School District has a smoke-free policy. No smoking is allowed anywhere in the stadium or in the parking facilities. Thank you. Be sure to follow the Falcons at www.lackawannafalcons.com and Lackawanna Falcons Athletics on Facebook. Fans, coaches, and players, the National Junior College Athletic Association, the Northeast Football Conference, Region 19, and Lackawanna College are committed to the ideals of good sportsmanship, safety, and fair play. We ask all fans, coaches, and players to show respect to the opposing team, game officials, and each other before, during, and after today's game. Persons throwing objects or participating in other acts in conflict with good sportsmanship, safety, and fair play are subject to ejection and prosecution. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Lackawanna College President Mark Volk, Director of Athletics Joy Whittington, and Head Coach Mark Duda, welcome to Scranton Memorial Stadium and Falcon Football. Today's game features the Hawking College Hawks and your third-ranked Lackawanna College Falcons. The Hawks are coached by Al Matthews, and the Falcons are led by the legendary Mark Duda. Here's your game time weather information. The temperature is 52 degrees. The wind is out of the west at six miles per hour. The forecast is for a lot of sun and only a 10% chance of rain. It is a perfect day for Falcons football. It is now time to introduce the starters for your Falcons. First, for your defense. Defensive lineman number 54, James Shackey. Defensive lineman number 48, Daldarius Payne. Defensive lineman number 6, Greg Rose. Linebacker number 11, Tyler Long. Linebacker number 42, Teron Haley. Linebacker number 44, Keyshawn Moore. At defensive back, number 4, Dejon Warren. Defensive back number five, Robert Kennedy. Defensive back number 22, Jair Brown. Defensive back number 23, Mike Crawford. And defensive back number 30, Gianni Gamble. Your special team starters. Your punter number 38, Luke Payne. And kicker number 18, Cam Sakati. And now the starters for your Falcon offense. Offensive lineman number 55, Brian Durkin. Offensive lineman number 56, Scott Hausman. Offensive lineman number 73, Emilio Moran. Offensive lineman number 74, Trey Quarren Dorsey. Offensive lineman number 75, Reggie Mark. Your tight end is number 45, Samir Park. At wide receiver, number 12, Tylon Papalo. Wide receiver, number 1, Quentin Sanders. 
and wide receiver number 81, Jael Megron. Your running back, number 31, Calvin Bell. And finally, your quarterback for the Falcons, number two, Matt Cavallaro. Your officials for this afternoon's game, your referee, Thomas Delaney. Umpire, Reginald Lane. Linesman, Mike Iosa. Back judge, Marlon Jones. Line judge, Alexander Davidson. Side judge, Andrew Lample. And field judge, Donnie Jordan. Once again, fans, a reminder that the Scranton School District has a smoke-free policy. No smoking is allowed in the stadium or in parking facilities. Also, be sure to check out the Falcons at www.lackawannafalcons.com and Lackawanna Falcons Athletics on Facebook. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask you to stand and please remove your caps as we honor the United States of America and the men and women who serve to protect it with the playing of our national anthem. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome into Memorial Stadium here at Scranton, Pennsylvania, for this afternoon's contest against with the Hawks of Hawking College and your number three Lackawanna College Falcons. Uh, currently, uh, the Falcons are about to be led onto the field by their coach, Mark Duda, and we have the captains getting ready to meet at uh, midfield. Today's captains for Lackawanna College are number two, Matt Cavallaro, number three, Norval Black, and number two, Jair Brown. Last week, Lackawanna came off a victory against Monroe College, which actually saw them go back-to-back, -back, winning the Northeast Football Conference Championship. Led on the field right now, here come the Falcons, led by legendary coach Mark Duda. 
We appreciate everybody joining us today here on YouTube Live, uh, here on the Lackawanna College Falcon Athletic Network. I'm Chris Sawyer, actually filling in for John Mendola, who's out of town this weekend. Glad to be here today for the call with you. Uh, I'm Sports Information Director here. We're looking forward to a great uh, day of Falcon football. The weather couldn't be better. It's a beautiful fall afternoon here in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Again, the Falcons come in in the latest NJCAA poll at number three in the country. Looking uh, still in that title uh, championship hunt here. Uh, currently 6-0. and Again, came off a big, big win last week uh, to go back-to-back -back in uh, Northeast Football Conference champions. Last year with this game, uh, actually Lackawanna traveled to Hawking, and, uh, but they came away with a huge victory, 62-6. to um, And again, on their way to an appearance last year in the El Toro Bowl out there in Arizona. So looking for a great game today. Lackawanna is really looking to uh, move on the um, momentum they have coming off last week. They've had two big wins against ASA Brooklyn and Monroe College. So everybody sit back, um, enjoy yourselves. Again, beautiful day for football. Glad to have you here on the Lackawanna College Falcons Athletic Network. And uh, we got the coin toss going out there right now at uh, midfield, and uh, we'll be looking forward to getting everything started here in just a second. Actually, Hawking's coming in at three and three. Uh, last week they uh, they lost to Arkansas Baptist, uh, 19 to 10. We see the coin toss just happened. We'll see who what we got here. It's like Hawking has won the toss. A little discussion out there at midfield on what's going to happen here. So we'll see what. Uh, what hockey decides. The Hawking has won the toss. They will elect to receive. So we'll get this uh, going again uh, with number three Lackawanna College Falcons against the Hawks of Hawking College. And as we get ready to start this game, I want to welcome everybody again into uh, YouTube Live here on the Lackawanna College Falcons Athletic Network. Again, I'm Chris Sawyer. I'll have your call today, uh, filling in for John Mandola. Uh, excited to be here. It's a great day of football. Again, Lackawanna is coming in at number three in the country, uh, looking to uh, get that momentum going on their 6-0 record. They have won 18 straight games in a row. And... This is a, a big a good test for them here. Uh, they're back home after two away games, and um, they are really uh, getting ready. Again, they, they have a lot of big opportunity here to uh, go into um, the champ national championship fight. And they will be starting here on uh, offense. Of course, Matt Cavallaro, their um, freshman quarterback, will bring them out after the kick. Lackawanna will kick the ball off again. Kicking the ball for Lackawanna will be Cam Sadati. Deep to return will be number 12, number 13 for Hawking College. So again, 12 and 13 are back for Hawking College as 
the Lackawanna College Falcons get ready to kick the ball off. Cam Sakati will kick the ball off for the Falcons. And we get ready for some Lackawanna College Falcons football here. It's a beautiful day in Scranton. Slow kick. It is going to be returned by Hocking, going to the 25 and 30. Oh, he cuts it outside, going towards the sideline, and he'll be taken out about the 45-46 yard line. The Hocking College offense will set up about the 45 yard line, 46 yard line for a first and 10. And we'll get to see first uh, Lackawanna College's defense again, led by number 22 Jair Brown, who was named the NJCAA National Defensive Player of the Week. Also, was the Lackawanna College Athlete of the Week. First down, 10 Hawking, from their own 46. Again, first down at the Hawking 46. Hawking will bring their offense out. It's like quarterback Tony White the third will engineer the Hawking, uh, lead the Hawking offense out here. It's in the shotgun. It's a handoff to number 12. And he goes for nowhere. The uh, Falcon defense smothers him right there. Teron Haley on the stop for the Falcons. Second down. Yeah, second down of 10. Again, Tony White in the shotgun for the Hawking College Hawks. Another handoff going nowhere. Looks like a loss of one there. Lackawanna defense right on that. Sean Moore on the tackle. Sean Moore on the tackle there for the the uh, Falcons. Uh, 46. Still on the 46. Got another third and 10 coming up here for the Hawks. It's a third down. Down. Tony White's getting the play in from the sideline. He's got two uh, two wide receivers out here on the right, one on the left. Snaps the ball. They're coming after him, and they they got him. And there's a fumble. It looks like Lackawanna's. Forty one Darius Plain. And they are calling it QB pressure. Uh, they are calling it Lackawanna football on the fumble. Fumble is recovered by the Falcons. It's recovered by the Falcons. Looks like uh, number forty four Moore may have got in there and got uh, gotten the ball. It's a great start for the Lackawanna defense. Uh, picked up where they left off last week. That was uh, recovered by Kashawn Moore, who is a uh, transfer from JMU from Suffolk, Virginia. Uh, he has 42 sacks on the year, and I mean, excuse me, 42 tackles in one sack, and he just picked up his uh, first fumble recovery. All right, Matt Cavallaro brings the uh, Falcons' offense out here at the 40-yard uh, line, first and ten. Snaps back, looking. He's looking long. He's got. Oh, he's got a receiver open, and that's a touchdown, Falcons. Touchdown, it's a beautiful pass from Cavalier Matt Cavallaro. He completed that to number one, the Quentin Sanders. Beautiful pass. They waste no time. Waste no time striking. That shows you right there, uh, Kashawn Moore picking up the fumble. First play out of the game is a long pass to Quentin Sanders for a touchdown. Sam. Scotty is on for the extra point. Yeah, Scotty on for the Yeah. And it's up. Okay. And it is good. With that, with that uh, extra point that makes it at the 13-25 mark of the first quarter, the Falcons have a 7-0 lead.
Falcons take the ball, kick off to Hawking here after that uh, touchdown strike to Quentin Sanders from Matt Cavallaro to make the score seven to zero with the 13-25 mark of the first quarter. Again, another beautiful day here in Scranton for college football. Scotty readies for the kick. And the kick is up. It's a squibbler again. Uh, oh, dropped by number 12 for Hawking. He picks it up. He's run 25 to the 30, out about the 31 yard line. Again, Lackawanna's off, uh, defense will come back out again. They just got the fumble by Kashawn Moore. Tony White uh, for Hawking will bring the offense out, starting at about the 30, 31-yard line, first and 10 for Hawking. Setting up, they're getting ready to set him up right here. Tony White's again bringing the Hawking offense out. He's got two wide receivers. Actually, he's got five wide receivers: three out to the left, two out to the right. No one in the back uh, backfield with him, so he's going out. That he's looking over, he, and he does not connect with number four, Jakir Salter. Dejan Warren breaks up the the pass. Number four be second and 10 on the 30, 31 yard line. Deshaun Warren there has 19 tackles and three interceptions on the season as well. Tony White brings him in second and 10. He's looking out to the right again and incomplete. There's a lot of pressure here from the Lackawanna defense. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of time to get that pass off. The DBs are playing good coverage right there. It's yeah, third down here. Tony White brings it out again. Third and ten. They're not moving the ball very well. Lackawanna's defense is, is hanging tough here and, and putting a lot of pressure on the quarterback, not giving him a lot of time to pass. Got three wide receivers out to the left, two out to the right again. Tony White throws it out uh, again to 28, not um, not complete. Johnny Gamble uh, defends on that uh, three and out, and Hawking will have to punt. The Falcons again a tough defensive stand there. Fourth down for Hawking. Johnny Gamble, who just broke up that pass, actually is a uh, was a University of Kentucky commit right out of high school. Has 32, 33 total tackles this season, two sacks and five interceptions. So he's having a great year, and he just shows it right there, breaking up the pass from Hawking. The punt, almost oh, almost blocked. Quentin Sanders sees it, he lets it go, and Hawking will down the ball at about the 31-yard line. So again, Matt Cavalier will bring the offense back out. Uh, had a great uh, series of first series to bring them out. It'll be first and 10 at about their own 31 yard line. Yeah, a lot of people might not know, but Matt Cavalier, before he came to Lackawanna College, actually was a junior hockey player. And um, uh, ended up here at Lackawanna College. He's actually been the NJCAA Player of the Week as well offensively. And is having a great year so far. Has 12, uh, 12, actually 13 touchdown passes now. Comes out of the shotgun. Finds it. Lackawanna to the 40, 43. That's a first down. That was to Complete to the Falcons number 12, Tylon Pablo. Uh, to about the 43. That's a uh, Falcons first down. Moving the ball right now at ease. Cavalero comes out. He's got... Got kind of running back in the backfield with them. Got tight end uh, making a move over there to the right. 
wide receiver in motion. And hands it off. Oh, he's got a big run here to the 50. 40, about the 43. That was Calvin Bell, sophomore out of uh, California, Maryland. 6'2", 220. Nice run here for another Falcons first down. Cavalier on the shotgun. Two wide receivers out to the right, one to the left. Another handoff, another big run by Bell. Keeps going, gets himself to about the 35-yard line. Calvin Bell, the ball carrier. Nice pickup for Calvin. Kevin Bell's have, uh, having a nice season this year. Uh, Lackawanna has a lot of running backs that contribute, and Bell's been one of those guys that gets in there, uh, and when he's in, he's, he's a motor horse. He can get down the field. And Cavalier again, the shotgun, two wide receivers out left, one out right. He's got Bell in the backfield with him. Oh, finds, a, finds his receiver. Papalero to the Papalero to about the 21. Oh, there is a flag on the play. Looks like it's going to be a personal foul. Hands to the face. That's against Hawking. So the Falcons accept that. Move that up uh, another 15 yards. Offensive line today is really uh, right now, or it's early in the game, but they're protecting Cavalero. They're they're and making holes for Bell. So this is a, a nice nice little drive they're putting together again against Hawking. Right now, Hawking's defensive line doesn't have a match for uh, the offensive line of uh, the Falcons. Again, Cavalero he had first and goal here at the ten. Cavalero's the shotgun wide receiver out right. We got in motion. Oh, he drops the ball. He falls on it at about the 18-yard line. So Cavalero got on that ball quick uh, as he dropped it. Uh, the second down and goal, but they are moved back to the 18-yard line. Okay. Cavalier again, second and goal here for the Falcons. Cavalier with the shotgun, got two wide receivers out left, one out, I mean, excuse me, one out left, two out right. Uh, he comes, he, he finds him, and oh, what a what a pass for a Falcon touchdown. 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 Number 12, Tylen Papalo. Papalo had a great series there, Cavalier catching about pass. three passes from Cavalero. Makes it 13 to nothing for the Falcons. Another great pass. Again, that play action is uh, when they when Calvin Bell starts uh, the running, that play action uh, pass will uh, will be open all day long for the Falcons. We've got Cam Sakati for the extra point. Snap is there. Kick is up. Oh, oh and the snap was looked like a little bobbled. It didn't get it off, and Hawking stopped him there. So at the 10-10 mark here with that missed extra point, we've got Lackawanna Falcons 13, Hawking College 0. York Falcons 13, Hawking College 0. Get another great drive by the offense. Uh, Calvin Bell and uh, Tylen Pablo both uh, made a lot of uh, a lot of noise on that drive. Uh, again, the offensive line, what we mentioned, is protecting uh, Cavalero. They're able to move the ball up. And we have a score right now, 13 to nothing. Set to kick off for the Falcons, number 18, Cam Sakati. Cam Sakati will put the ball down. Falcons will kick off to Hawking. Again, we have deep uh, 13 is deep for them. And uh, most of the kicks have been going to 12 over here. Uh, they're not kicking it far down there, but they have a, uh, I think they have a strategy here, what they're doing here on special teams. 12 seems to pick it up and they get them out about the 30. Let's see what they do on this, on this kickoff. That sounds like the beginning of the sign for cheers. I know it's not. Oh, it's a big kick right there going back. And driving him back, and that uh, then he catches it in the end zone, and that'll be a touchback from Cam Sakati. So again, at the 10-10 mark, we've got score: Lackawanna Falcons 13, Hawking College zero. First down to 10, Hawking. Tony White will bring the Hawking offense back onto the field. 
and see if they can get something moving here against the Falcon defense who has stopped them so far this game. All right, we've got a first and 10 here from the 25-yard line after the touchback on the kickoff. Tony White out with Hawking. He's got uh, three wide receivers out left, one out right. He's got a uh, running back in the backfield with him to see if they can do anything against this Lackawanna defense. Comes out for another pass, and Lackawanna puts the pressure on, and he's going down. Sack for Lackawanna. That's Robert Kennedy on the sack. Tony White sacked on a play by the Falcons on Robert Kennedy. Again, the offensive line right now for Hawking just cannot uh, cannot sustain the uh, pressure that's coming right now from the defensive line for the Falcons. So that'll be a second down. Looks like the ball is on the 18-yard line. Where he's straddling the line, that's how he's defense. Robert Kennedy's having a great year. It's got multiple FPS and FC offers. And Tony White out to the right, and it is intercepted by the Falcons, and that is an easy walk-in for a touchdown. Touchdown! It's like Mike Crawford on the interception. Lackawanna touchdown. He stepped. He stepped right in front of that. Uh, there was. There was nothing. Uh, nothing anyone could do on that. Mike Crawford, the transfer from New Hampshire. That's his second interception on the year. 19 to 0, 926 mile. We got Cam Sakati in for the extra point. 20? 25. No, he's at a 15. Sakati on to kick the PAT. Jair Brown set the hold. Sakati's up. Brown to hold. Now the snap's good. Kicks up. And this time it is good at the 926 mark that makes Lackawanna 20, Hawking zero here in the first quarter. Again, what a what an interception by Crawford again, the uh, transfer from New Hampshire, second interception on the year, stepped right in front of that pass. Again, that goes back to the the uh, defensive line. What they're getting amazing pressure just going up and and pushing pushing right into that offensive line. There's nothing they can do, and Tony White's got to get that ball out quick. Hey, don't forget, next week is homecoming for Lackawanna College. At 1 o'clock, they'll be playing Nassau, Nassau College. Uh, come, come on out and uh, support, support the, um, the Falcons. It'll also be sophomore day, um, honoring all the sophomores that'll be uh, moving on uh, to the next level. And Cam Sakati is set to kick off. Again, back deep, number 13 for Hawking. Miss Sean Smith. The kick is up. And over the head of 13 into the end zone for a touchback. So the Hawking College offense and Tony White will come on back out to the 25 again and see if they can make any movement again against this Falcons defense. If you look at some of the Falcons defense, they've got a lot of guys that um, have either committed, uh, you know, as everyone knows, Jair Brown's committed to Penn State. He'll be joining Nor Norvell Black. But number six, Greg Rose, he's a transfer from Robert Morris. And also, Kashawn Moore's a transfer from JMU. So there's a lot of talent here on this defense. And right now it's showing um, even Robert Kennedy. Uh, he was actually the Pennsylvania State Player of the Year his senior year in high school. Uh, so it, it, <laughs> I feel bad for Hawking right now because there's a lot of talent out here, and, and it's showing. Tony White will bring him out again at the 25, first and 10. Three, again, three wide receivers out left, one out right. They've been running this formation a lot. Uh, he's looking long. He's got it. And it's another... Another interception by the Falcons. Deshaun Warren, and he's running back to the 35, 40. Oh, he's got a block, 45, 50, 40, 40, 35, and he's out at the, oh, he's, is he still in? Looked like he had stepped out, but he's still going down about the 27-yard line. White pass is intercepted by Warren, Warren. John Warren, interception. And who, who, who tackled him? Who tackled him? Yes. 
Uh, you know, a lot of people don't realize uh, Warren was actually a spring tryout player for the Falcons, and here he is now with 19 tackles, another interception on the year, make that four, and he's at right now receiving multiple offers uh, and, and interest from the FBS schools. But here's a guy, again, wasn't even sure if he even – either be on the team and he tries out in the spring and here he is playing uh, playing great ball. All right, Matt Cavallero brings the offense out here first and 10 on the 23 yard line. The two wide receivers out each side. So they run it down to about, let's see, the 15 yard line. Looks like a gain of, no, actually that is the Yep, the 15-yard line. Good for nine. 15-yard line for a gain of nine right there. There's Rashard Jackson. Rashard Jackson on the carry. Rashard Jackson's back in there in the backfield with Matt Cavallaro. Two wide, three wide, or two wide receivers. The tight ends out there as well. One on the left. Another handoff. It goes right to the middle. Looks like not much right there. Uh, Jackson again on the run. He may have got. He may have. Jackson. Nah, it looks like he went right right into the no no gain on that one. So, okay, so we've got a third down here for the Falcons. It's their first third down actually here in the red zone. Cavalero back, two wide receivers out left, one out right. Again, got um, Jackson in the backfield. Oh, he fakes the handoff, he finds, and it is a, oh, and he dropped. Looks like he had it, but he, he, he dropped it. It was a nice uh, play fake. That was two, number 81, Negron. Incomplete. Let's see, what will they do here? Second down. That is second down. My mistake, they'd had a first down on that last play. 11, 11. All right, Cavallaro in the shotgun. A tight formation here. It's Quentin Sanders with the ball, comes out to the right. He's got a block, He's and not going anywhere right there. Quentin Sanders, the ball. He had some blocks coming out there, but uh, Hawking quickly closed in on him, uh, tackling him out of bounds. Good for a gain of two, 12. It's a gain of two right there to the 12. Third down eight. Can Quentin Sanders right there was a uh, had actually committed to Marshall before coming to Lackawanna. Up, oh, it looks like we have a free play here. And uh, it was a touchdown pass, but they had the flag before the play started. Let's we'll see what the officials call. That ball offsides on the defense. Offside penalty and talking. Lackawanna. We'll move up, move up to about the, let's see, about seven or eight yard line. Cavallaro gets him set again quick. He wants the ball. Tight end 45 in motion. But we've got, got something going on there on the right, on the right side. Let's see who the flag's on. I have another offsides on Hawking. That'll move uh, Lackawanna up a little bit more. It was interesting. Uh, the wide receiver and the quarterback both uh, took off at the same time. They've called it on Hawking here. Uh, we'll move them up to about the three yard line. So it's a first and goal for the Falcons. Here with seven minutes left in the first quarter. Falcons leading 20 to nothing. Cavallaro gets the play in from the sideline. Jackson's in the backfield behind him. He's got two wide receivers out left, one out right. He's coming in under center. Quarterback sneak, and he gets to about the one yard line on that sneak. You know, this season so far, Cavalier again has thrown 12, actually 13 touchdown passes now. He's averaging about 176 yards a game passing. And actually, he's completed over 50% uh, of his passes. So he's having a great year. Again, coming out of Delaware Valley High School, local kid. 
second down and goal with a two. Second down and goal here on the two-yard line. Cavalero in the shotgun. He's got, uh, again, Jackson out to on his left. Two wide receivers to the right, one to the left, one to the right. Hand off to Jackson, and he stopped quickly by Hawking by number 25. That'll bring up a third and goal for the Falcons. Third down. Cavalera's getting the play in again from the sideline here on third and goal from the actual four. The third and goal from the four. Again, wide receiver. He wants the ball quick, clapping his hands. In motion, the tight end to the right. Oh, tight end's out there. He finds a tight end wide open over there, and he comes in and touchdown. touchdown. Falcons touchdown. touchdown. Shamir Parks on motion there, came to the right side, went out to the flat. Wide open. Falcons touchdown, 5-16 mark, 26-0. We have Cam Sakati on for the extra point. Again, the offense is moving at will. Kick is up. From Sakati, and it is good. 27 nothing right now. 521 remaining in the first quarter. Number three, Lackawanna College Falcons. They're up 27, Hawking College at zero. There's been a lot of motion. They've been running uh, two wide receivers out to the left, one out to the right. And on that play, if you watch, 45, uh, Shamir Parks comes in motion, sets up like it's a run, and sneaks right through the line, is wide open out there in the flat, and hits uh, for the touchdown. What a great look by Cavalero uh, to go up 27-0. Yeah. Got Sam Sakati will bring the ball out here. Kick off again. We've got number 13 back deep for Hawking. And that's Sean Smith for the Hawks back deep uh, to get Sam Sakati's kick. And we're about ready for the kickoff here again. 27 nothing with 5:21 left in the first quarter here at Scranton Memorial Stadium in Scranton, Pennsylvania. And Scotty's ready for the kick. This one looks like, oh, oh he lets it go, and it goes in. It looked like it'd be returnable, but he let it go, and it's a touchback in the end zone. Again, Hawking will bring the ball out to the 25. Tony White and Hawking, what they've done pretty much every, uh, every uh, series here, trying to start it again from the 25, see if they can get anything moving. Again, as we said, Lackawanna Falcons' defense has been um, just putting so much pressure on them. It's been really hard for Tony White to get his offense going. Well, so Tony White will bring the bring the offense out again for the Hawks. Again, first and ten from the 25 with 5:21 left in the first quarter. Up, fakes a handoff, comes in, gets about, not much going there, gets about two yards where the Lackawanna defense uh, closes in on him. Again, we are at the Dwayne Grantham on the stop there for the Falcons. We're second and eight on the, uh, let's see, the 28-yard line up. There is a penalty on the play. Oh, looks like it's on Lackawanna. Uh, moving it up. Not sure who that's on, but we'll get that. But it is a Hawks first down here. Uh, first and 10 on the 42-yard line. That's the most uh, most yardage they've gained right there on the uh, <laughs> on the penalty. He's going to – it rolls out to the left, finds – and it is intercepted again by the Falcons. Uh, no, they, it is an interception, yes. Intercepted. intercepted by the Falcons. 
Number 30, uh, Gianni Gamble. Uh, it's again, he's stepping in, playing a great game uh, so far. Again, as we said, Gianni Gamble the, uh, was committed to the University of Kentucky before coming here. That's uh, that is his sixth interception on the year. And at the 48-yard line, it'll be first and ten. Matt Cavalero will bring the Falcons out again. Pretty much every series, they've gotten a turnover here on on the Hawks. Okay, see Cavalero's in the shotgun. We've got uh, two receivers left, two receivers right. No one in the backfield. He's looking deep. He's scrambling. He scrambles out to the left. A short little pass to number 34. Uh, nice little pass to Jackson. Uh, not what he wanted, but he got out. He gained about uh, three yards. And complete to Jackson. We've got second down and... Good for a game of four. No, second down and six here. Had a gain of four there. He wanted to go deep, but he did find Jackson uh, inside there. It's good coverage uh, by the Hawks. Quentin Sanders in motion. Up comes up. He does find Sanders. Sanders to the 40. 35, 34, 33 up. There is a flag on the play. Could be a holding, holding call here. Sanders had a nice little run, but we do have a flag. We'll see what that is. Oh, it is on Hawking. It's like holding against Hawking. It is holding on Hawking. So it was a nice, uh, nice little play there by Sanders, and they'll pick up a few more yards on that. Result of the play is the Falcons' first down. That will be a first down again for the Falcons. Waiting for the uh, chain gang to move the chains here. Got 4:31 left here in the first quarter. Falcons are driving again. It's 27 nothing in favor of the home team. Penalty was declined. It is a first down on about the 38-yard line. Cavalero is set, the shotgun. Two receivers left, one right. Does hand up, fake handoff. Jackson's trying to slip it out. He does not get much. Actually, looks like he lost uh, lost two yards there. Um, so, so yeah, dropped him back two on uh, that run by Jackson. Moves them back to the 35-yard line. Be second down. Cavalero set. He wants the ball. Receivers in motion. Back up, they're coming at him, and he has to spike the ball down. Yeah, Hawking that time, that was the first time they've got a lot of pressure there on Cavalero. Cavalero. Oh, there is a flag. A flag uh, flag has just been thrown. Let's see what they're calling here. Are they going to call intentional grambling? He did, did, but there was 30, the receiver there. 34 was there. Let's see what they have. It looked like 34 was there, and they are waving it off because 34 was there when he threw the ball down. So they'll pick that uh, flag up. Third down and 12. So we've got a third and 12 here for the Falcons. The first time they've been in this situation. Let's see what they can do. They've got two wide receivers out to the left. It's got Jackson in the backfield with him. Let's see what Cavalero's got uh, lined up here. On the back. Oh, he finds he's got a uh, wide open. And that is a completion for a first down. The Falcons. Number 81, to Negron. That was to Negron, number 81 again. That's his second catch of the night of the day. That's a first down. That was a nice little play on a third and 12. They were backed up. Cavalero was patient and found it. Found a receiver over there. So we've got a first down coming up on the 21-yard line, almost to the red zone. We've got about three minutes left here in the first quarter, 27 to zero. 
And we've got a tight formation here, Cavalier on the shotgun. Motion. He's got a handoff to Quentin Sanders again. He finds his blockers, and that is a Falcon touchdown. Touchdown! Quentin Sanders. Touchdown, Lackawanna! Found his blockers. That was a nice. We've got a, uh, looks like we got an injury on the field here for Hawking, but that was a nice, nice run there by Sanders. Found his blockers. Was very patient and got into the end zone to make it 33 to nothing here. Uh, waiting on the Sakati extra point. Look, the Hawking player is up and looks like he's limping a little bit off the field. Yeah, we got Sakati on for the extra point. Jair Brown on the hold. He handled it up. Oh, that's a pass in his But did he hand that up? No, he's got to take that. Sakati gets ready. You know me, I do it. Yeah. They must have to be catching the top four. Snap is good, kick is up, and the kick is good for the extra point. There is a flag, though. Two flags on the play. But Sakati's PAT is good. We'll see what the penalty is here. But two flags out there. Let's wait on the call here from the, the, the refs and see what's going on here with the PAT. You know, while we're waiting on the flag, Cam Sakati was actually named the National Junior College Special Teams Player of the Week. Um, he had a lot of offers coming out of high school. Let's see, we've got a personal foul. Actually, a personal foul on Lackawanna. It is declined. Dead ball, personal fouls on Hawking and was, Falcons. It was on both offset, offset both on, on the Hawking and the Falcons offset. The but that is good. Um, 251 in the first, 34 to nothing. Falcons again getting to Cam Sakati. Uh, he had a lot of offers coming out of high school, but he chose to go to Lackawanna. He's uh, seven for nine on the season in field goals with his long of 38. Again, he was named the NJCAA Special Teams Player of the Week. And right now he'll get ready to tee it up and kick back off to Hawking. Again, we've got number 13 and 12 back deep for Hawking. Guarantee you. Again, 251 left here in the first quarter. Falcons up 34 to nothing here on a beautiful day in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Mike, yes. I just told the call I said. All right, Sakata gets ready for the kick. And the kick is up. Kick it back, 13. It is in the end zone again for another touchback. So again, Hawking College will bring the ball out to the 25, and Tony White will see if he can get things going for him. Again, this defense by the Falcons is, has been smothering uh, turnover after turnover. It's not much that um, Hawking's been able to do. They did move it on the last drive a little bit. But again, there's just not much they can do. It'll be first and 10 here on the 25. Actually, look, we have a, a new quarterback, Tyler Woodard, in for Hawking. It's a handoff to num number 20. Oh, he hits the side and looks like it's a first down there for the Hog. And that'll be their first first down of the game, I believe. It's like to Michael Lawrence, the ball carrier. Michael Lawrence on the carry. And Mike Crawford uh, took him down there. It was a first down run by Hawking. Mike Crawford on the tackle again, transfer from New Hampshire. Woodard back in the shotgun. 
gets a play from the sideline coming in. Oh, there's a flag on the play. It's like delay a game on Hawking. Delay a game penalty. <laughs> Witter tried to get that play in from the sideline. They just couldn't get set up and get uh, situated on what they wanted to do. So it'll be first and 15 from the 35 yard line. Another run, it's about uh, two yards. Looks like Michael Lawrence maybe again on the carry there. Yeah, Michael Lawrence again on the carry. Uh, got about a uh, couple yards there, not too much. Like Rose on the tackle there. Ball's on the 38-yard line, second down. Second down about 12. Where it'll get them set up again. Set back the pass. Up, oh, scrambling a little bit. He's getting some pressure. He does find third, and he overthrows 13, trying to get out. A lot of pressure there. Uh, a lot of pressure. Robert Kennedy was on, uh, on the pressure there, uh, getting him outside of the pocket. He really had nowhere to go. It's a third down third here. Down. Yeah, about 58 seconds left here in the first quarter. Third down. And actually, Hawking has not has not yet got across the 50-yard line. And he got another long third and 12. He's got two wide receivers out left, one out right for Woodard. So they're coming out and they're and. Oh, they were, uh, ooh, Greg Rose there. It was like Greg Rose on the sack. Uh, six and Robert, uh, let's see, Kennedy and Rose both came out and put a lot of pressure on, dropped them back, all the way back to the, it's like the 16, where are they going to put it? Oh, uh, they're going to actually say he was down at the 25. You're kicking? And Hawking will be on to kick. Palmer and Sanders are both back for the Falcons. Both of them had a tremendous year in kickoff and punt returns. Well, it's a bad snap. Oh, they do run into the punter, and they're getting a flag. Lackawanna does pick the ball up, runs it back for a touchdown, but this will be called back. Uh, personal, they're calling a personal foul running into the kicker. It will be a first down for Hawking. Personal foul, roughing the kicker on the Falcons. That's the first down. Yep, roughing the kicker. First down. They had a lot of pressure. It was a bad oh. snap. They were there, but they called him with the personal foul, roughing the kicker. Give an automatic first down to Hawking. They put the Lackawanna defense back on, back on the field. After the first quarter of play, your Lackawanna College Falcons 34, Hawking College Hawks 0. That is the end of the first quarter. You score Lackawanna 34, Hawking College 0. We'll be right back after this message. Our stadium may not hold 100,000 people, but we still compete with other colleges all over the country. Giant lecture halls? Eh, that's not really for me. I like the laid-back approach. Lackawanna is close to home, with satellite centers located throughout Northeastern and Central PA. Lackawanna College, helping me help you. The choice is yours to make. Changing how I learn. Changing where I learn. Changing my life. And we're back here to start the second quarter. Uh, Right now the score is Lackawanna College 34, Hawking 0. We've got a first and 10 for Hawking at their own 40 after the personal foul running it, roughing the kicker. Wooders back out to lead the Hawks, defense, uh, Hawks offense. Got the Falcon defense out here again. Again, they still haven't gotten past the 50-yard line, but right now they're at a first and 10 at their own 40. Oh, 
See Woodard. Oh, he's changing the play. Two receivers out left. Nope. It's looking to the sideline for the play again. Changing it up again. They're coming out. Oh, he has a receiver out there. And he has... Oh, and he dropped it. It looked like it was a catch. It was a nice pass, but good defense by the Falcons. Dejon Warren on the uh, pass break up there. He had him one-on-one -on -one outside, but Warren stuck right with him and played great defense. <laughs> and so that'll be second down uh, and 10 from the 40-yard line. Woodard brings him out, sets the play there with his line. And he runs it himself. Through. He's got about three. He is tackled after about a three yard gain. There's a keeper there. Nice little run there, but uh, the Lackawanna defense quickly, quickly uh, stopped that. It's a third down here. Third and seven here from the 43, their own 43 yard line. Woodard's back. He's got two backs to his left, two wide receivers to the right. But they come, they're coming at him. Got some pressure. He does miss. And there is a – oh, he throws the ball away. Tries to avoid the sack. Again, too much pressure by Lackawanna. Randy Wheeler on the pressure there. He just came right through the line, stuck with them. Oh, there is a penalty, so let's hold on and see what that call is. So the Hawking offense will stay on the field with the holding call there on the third down. So moving them up and they are actually this is on the Lackawanna 48 yard line first and 10 there in Lackawanna territory for the first time today. Woodard again back. With a snap, he runs an option play. Nope, he takes it himself. He tries, he pitches it out. It does not get much, maybe a yard or two. And running the option play out there. It's like Tyler Long. It's like Tyler Long on the tackle there. Gamble actually on the tackle. Gamble's been all over the field today. And bring it out here. We got a second down. It's like second and eight. Woodard getting the play in. And Woodard's ready for the snap. He takes a snap, comes back, looking for his receiver. Out to left, and oh, he does connect uh, on the 41 yard line to number 12 for Hawking. Pass complete. Up by 12. Tackle so it chair. Kennedy. Kennedy on the tackle there, but number 12 was able to get there right on the sideline. That was a nice pass by Woodard. Uh, third down, though, again. Third down. It's on the Lackawanna 41 yard line. Let's see if the Falcons' defense can step up here and, and prevent them from getting a first down. Last time they got a first down, it was on a penalty. Woodard in the shotgun, has three receivers out right, two out left. Number 80 in motion. Uh, fakes, fakes, and the quarterback takes it, and he's going to be close. Looks like he may have gotten the first down. Yep, they are telling, yep, they're giving him a first down, moving the chains. Brought down by the Falcons, Tyler Long. This will be a first down for Hawking here on the 38-yard line of Lackawanna. And 12:20 left in the second quarter. It's 34-0 Falcons at the moment. 
get another three wide receivers out right, two out left. So again, he's getting a little pressure. He's coming through and up, and he is down. 42. Haley. Rose on the sack there. At what we are like, 40. Moving back to the 40 yard line. Be second and 12. Greg Rose there on the sack. Again, he's from a transfer from Robert Morris. Uh, actually played at uh, Powerhouse DeMatha High School in Maryland and has that's his eighth sack on the season. We're back, fix the handoff. Up, oh, does find. Oh, big tackle there. Only about uh, about a four yard gain on the pass to 12. Johnny Gamble. Johnny Gamble again on the stop. He's uh, We've been saying his name a lot tonight. It's another third down for the Falcons. Let's see if they can step up here. Woodard's getting the play in from the sideline. In 39 here for uh, Hawking. So Woodard's in the back, ready to take the snap. Rolls out to his right. A little pressure he does find. He has a wide receiver who stumbles and pass is broken up. He had the receiver. The receiver tripped. Oh, there is a flag on the play, though. Another, another penalty. Uh, Roughing the passer. That's what's kept uh, Hawking in here. Every time there's a third down here on this series, the Falcons will come up with some sort of uh, penalty to give uh, Hawking's new life. All right, so that penalty actually will move Hawking up. This is the closest they've been. It looks like the 22 yard line of Lackawanna. Woodard's come in in replace of uh, a white and actually moved the ball pretty well for Hawking right now. Like, oh, he fakes and another quarterback run. He's got. Oh, they're having a hard time bringing him down. He gets all the way to the looks like 13 yard line. That's Woodard on the run. It's a nice little run while Woodard there. Brown on the tackle. Again, Brown was uh, the NJCA Defensive Player of the Week. There is a flag on the play. Looks like it's on the Falcons again, which will take the ball from the 12. Did they say what it was? Looks like it's about six. It was a face mask penalty on the on the uh, on the Falcons. Face mask against the Falcons. First and goal, Hawking. So again, Hawkins been moving the ball well. Again, they they've been helped by penalties against Lackawanna. Woodard will bring them up to the six yard line. They have first and goal. Their first first and goal of the game. in motion. Oh, there's a flag. Nobody cares you're here. Let's see what the call is. Illegal substitution. Oh, it's an illegal substitution on the Falcons. Dead ball foul. Again, this uh, series has been kept alive by penalties on Lackawanna. It moves them up to about the three yard line. First and goal for the Hawks. What it'll bring them back to the third yard line here on first and ten. Looks like, and there will be a timeout called. Timeout, Hawking. Hawking. Their first of the half. And we'll be right back after this message from Lackawanna College. Uh, what is it? 
For more than a century, Lackawanna College has been changing lives as a two-year institution. Now, you can earn your bachelor's degree from a respected school close to home with accelerated study options and the most affordable tuition in the region. Lackawanna College now offers a bachelor's degree in accounting, business, criminal justice, human services, professional studies, and restaurant and food service management. Apply today at Lackawanna.edu. This is life-changing. This is Lackawanna College. Again, we're back here on the Lackawanna College Falcon Athletic Network. We're at the 925 mark of the second quarter. Your number three Lackawanna Falcons lead Hawking College right now in the second quarter, 34 to nothing. But right now, Haw Hawking has the ball on the three yard line, first and 10 after a number of penalties uh, by the Falcons. Woodard's in the back, ready to take the snap. Nope, comes out, fake handoff, throws it, and it is almost intercepted, incomplete. Uh, nice play by the Falcons there, but it is incomplete. That'll be second and goal coming up for the Hawks. And we've said his name a ton of times today. Uh, Gamble again on the breakup there, almost with the interception in the end zone. Second down and goal. Be second and goal here for the Hawks. Uh, Woodard getting the play in. He's coming under center this time. Hand off the 20 and oh, he's still up. They had him, it's down, but they back him up. They'll call him down there on the two yard line. Again, the defense stepping up. It's like Lawrence on the carry there for Hawking. Brought down by the Jair Brown. Jair Brown, again, this year's NJCA National Defensive Player of the Week on the stop. So we have second goal here. It's third. Yeah, actually, third and goal down. for the Hawks. Defense has stepped up here for the Falcons. Woodard brings the play in. Woodard takes it, and he is actually in on the quarterback keeper. So that's a touchdown for Hawking. Two-yard run there by, Tyler by Tyler Woodard, uh, the backup quarterback who's come in and actually moved the ball pretty well there against the Falcons. Two-yard touchdown run there by Woodard. Again, that, that uh, drive right there, Lackawanna had him, but there were a lot of penalties that kept that drive alive. Hawking will set up for the point after. Snap is good, kick is up, and the kick is no good, no good on the extra point. So at the 826 mark of the second quarter, Lackawanna leads 34 to six over Hawking College. 34. Hawking College 6. So if you're here in Scranton this weekend, there's a lot coming up. Tomorrow uh, we have a doubleheader men and women's soccer game over at uh, University of Scranton's Weiss Field at Quinn Athletics Complex, where at noon the women will kick off against Harcum College. And at 2 o'clock the men will come and kick off against Harcum College. We've got the playoffs coming up for Region 19, and they're both fighting for a spot. Also, women's volleyball will be at historical Lackawanna College Student Union uh, at 1 p.m. Uh, for a match against Delaware Technical Community College. Again, they're also fighting to get into the Region 19 tournament. So come on out and support them. It's a great way to support the Lackawanna Falcons. And as always, if, uh, if you're not here, check our YouTube channel out and see if uh, we're streaming the games and you can watch them again. But we appreciate everyone being here today on the Lackawanna College Falcons Athletic Network. As we are in the second quarter, Lackawanna, number three in the country, leading Hawking 34 to six. Hawking's getting ready to set up for the kickoff. Oh, 
See, we got Sanders back deep to receive. For Lackawanna, Sanders has had a great year on kickoffs and punt returns. The kick is up. It's a short kick. Sanders will take it at the 11. He finds the blockers. He's running. It's the 45, 50, 40. He finds the blockers. 30, 20, 15, 10. That's a Falcons touchdown on the kickoff return by Quentin Sanders. Oh, and there's a there's a penalty. There's a penalty on the. This may be coming back. There is a penalty on the field. There's a penalty on the field. That was a great run by Sanders, but we'll see what the penalty is. We've got a, also we have a Hawking, Hawking College player down on the field over at the 30. Yeah, the flag was thrown over at the, let's see, the 46-yard line on the opposite side of the field. The hockey player is up. They're having to actually help him off the field right now. Number 20. It'll be a knee or ankle right there. You hate to see that. Let's see. We're still waiting on the penalty call. So it, was, so it was called again at the 46-yard line. See, so they're moving Lackawanna back to their own 39. Must have been a – we haven't seen it yet either – Block in the back or a holding. Top of penalty on return. Instead of a first down and ten, Falcons attack the. Uh, so it'll be a first and ten for Lackawanna with 8-12 left in the second quarter. First down and ten like from the 39. They're at the 39 yard line. Cavalier will bring the offense back out on the field. Oh, so actually the call was a sideline interference. Cavalier takes a high snap. He backs up. He's got a little bit of time. Now he's flushed. Oh, oh, he, they miss him. He finds, and he had to throw that out. They had a little pressure on him. They missed him. Ooh, and the hawking player went right into the, <laughs> the bench over there on the Lackawanna sideline, but he's up. So it'll be second down with that incompletion. Second and 10 from the 39-yard line. Cavalero gets to play in from the sideline. It's got two receivers out left, two out right up. They moved him up. Yep, 39 yard line here. They had to move him up a little bit. Parks in the back, handoff. 34, Parks gets about uh, two yards right there on the run. Excuse me, that's Jackson. Jackson on the two-yard run. So that's going to bring third down and eight for the Falcons. Cavalier will call on the play. Two receivers out left, one out right. He's got some time. He's protected. Uh, and he just overthrows the receiver there. So that's their first, uh, first three and out for the game, and the Falcons will have to punt it. Luke Payne will come on to punt the ball. Hoggins defense played very well there. That's the first time that they've uh, they've put him into three and zero. I mean three and out. Yep, Luke Payne again. Uh, the punt. We got number thirteen for Hawking back uh, deep on the twenty yard line. Payne takes the ball. Nice snap. Nice punt. It's up short. Hawking's calling it off. Oh, and it bounces back for a nice 
Hawking bounce, and the Falcons will down it on the 42-yard line. Short punt there. I took a bad bounce back. Again, at the 7.08 mark in the second quarter, it's Lackawanna Falcons 34-6. Hawking will take the ball at their own 42 for a first down. It looks like uh, Woodard is staying in the game. He's uh, been moving the Hawks uh, pretty efficiently here. Uh, came in for Tony White. Again, first down and 10 from their 42-yard line. Wide receiver in motion, hands it off to him. Oh, and he gets hit right there behind the line of scrimmage. Looks like they'll, that was Smith carrying, but Gamble again in there. Got about a yard. Gamble is there quick to stop him. Oh, they could. They did. They did give him a uh, give him a gain of one, but Gamble Gamble was in there again. He's been all over the field today. Second down and nine. Woodard in to take the snap. Wide receiver in motion. Woodard back. Oh, there's pressure on him. Oh, he does get the ball away and gets it to 27. Uh, it did not go. Yeah, it looks like it'll be about a loss of one or two. He had a lot of pressure. Again, Gamble was in there on the, on the pressure. Payne also in there with Gamble. So we've got now a third down. Third down. Woodard getting the play in from the sideline. Get third down from the 42-yard line of Hawking. Bring your pressure again up. He's got a receiver out there. Oh, they're going to call. Whoa, that isn't. This will be interesting. They're going to call uh, pass interference on Lackawanna. From up here, it appeared he was looking at the ball, and the wide receiver was on his back, but the refs are going to call pass interference on Lackawanna. Not sure about that call, but they, he was looking. He was looking back. The wide receiver was on his back, but that'll give Hawking a, a first down from the Lackawanna 47-yard line. 40, yeah, 47-yard line. That's an interesting call. So Woodard back uh, with the offense. Sets back. They're coming after him again. He has nowhere to go. The defense swarms, and he's still up. His helmet is off. He's still going. Did they call him? They did call him down. Lackawanna swarmed after him. His helmet fell off, and he kept going. But they, they did call him down. A lot of Falcons on that pressure there. So we'll move them back to about the 40, 41-yard line of Hawking. Quarterback. Uh, actually, uh, White is back in the game now for Hawking because a uh, helmet did come off on Woodard. But Woodard had nowhere to go, so we got about second and 22 here. It was a loss of 12 on that. So Tony White's back now. It's going to come through the line. He does up and he throws the ball out to the side. It is incomplete. Tyra Long was on the pressure there. Uh, right, he was right out there, and I think that disrupted 27 from trying to catch it. Now we have a third it's down and 22. Third down. Let's see. Woodard has come back. White's back out. Woodard had to go out uh, for the one play when his helmet came off, but he is back in on third and 22 from their own 41-yard line.
Woodard with the snap. Back, so he's got more pressure again. He scrambles to his right. He's looking, he's looking downfield. He ha does have a receiver, but it is intercepted by Lackawanna. Winner's pass. By number 17. David Amakwa with the interception. They called pass interference on him, so he made up for that with the interception. First down in 10, Falcons. It'll be a first down in 10 for Lackawanna on their own 27-yard line. Woodard was scrambled there on the uh, on the play. He, he really just threw it up there looking for his receiver. Lackawanna came in, took it again for a first down. We have four minutes and 13 seconds here left in the second quarter. Lackawanna's up 34 to 6. Cavallero brings the offense out. Hands off his run to the 35, 40, 45 over. Across 50 yard, about out the 50 yard line there. Jackson on the carry. Went out to the left, found his blockers, got out to about the 50-yard line, midfield, actually 40, 50, a little bit close. Let's see where they put him. Oh, they brought him up actually to the 40. The, oh, let's see where they're putting. They're back. He's actually backing them up a little bit. Where are they bringing him? They're saying, they're saying he went out of bounds at their own 46. So that's where Cavallaro and the Falcon offense will set up. First down and 10. Cavallaro with the snap. Another handoff to Jackson. And goes nowhere there. No gain on there for Jackson. That'll bring up second and 10. Second and 10. Cavalo again, we got two receivers out right up to snap. Oh, free play. Throws downfield. Not sure we do have a flag on the play there. That was, it is uh, actually looks like offsides on the defense on Hawking. That was an interesting looking play. Offsides on Hawking. Offsides that'll, on that'll move. Uh, so you move the Falcons up to the Hawking 49 yard line. Cavalier will get the play in from the sideline. Backs up in the shotgun. Oh, oh, and he overthrows his receiver. He had him open, but just over, overthrew him. It looked like he rushed the ball a little bit. Looks like there is a penalty on the play here against Hawking. So that'll move the Falcons up to the, let's see where they move them. Move them up to the 35-yard line. Oh, first, down. first down, and we do have, let's see, uh, official timeout on the field. We wait to see exactly what that call was. But it does move them up for a first down on the 35-yard line. We really didn't. Must have been a personal foul. We didn't. Uh, we didn't get indication, but it did move him up to the 35-yard line. Cavalier on the offense will set up there for a first down. Up. Uh, looks like we may have false start here on the Falcons. Yep, there's a false start, so that'll back them up. Looks like a wide receiver jumped off, uh, started to move there a little bit early. Excuse me. Okay. 
This referee is going over to talk to the Hawking coach. Yep. It is false start on the Falcons. And there was an unsportsmanlike conduct on Hawking, which will actually move the Falcons up 15 yards here. So that really negates the false start uh, penalty that the Falcons have. So Hawking had a dead ball and sportsmanlike penalty, moves them up to the 25, 26, 25 yard line. First and 10. So that unsportsmanlike conduct, uh, <laughs> something that Hawking did not need where they had some momentum going with the penalty. But Cavallero and the Falcons will start at the 25 here for first and 10. Cavallo takes a snap, oh, throws it out. Oh, to the tight end, 45, and touchdown, touchdown. Falcons. Touchdown. Shamir Parks, that's his second touchdown Cavallo reception of the game. To Samir Parks for 25 yards and a Falcons touchdown. That was a nice little play action there by Cavallero to Parks. With that score at the 239 mark of the second quarter, it's 40 to six, awaiting the extra point. Sakati will come in uh, for the point after. Again, as we mentioned before, Sakati, the special teams player of the week for the NJCAA. Could have gone anywhere as a full qualifier, but chose to come, um, chose to come to Lackawanna. Snap is up, hold is up, and the kick is good. Extra point is good at the 239 mark. Extra point makes it Lackawanna Falcons 41. Hawking College, six. Again, want to remind everybody, next week is homecoming here at Scranton Memorial Stadium for Lackawanna College. The Falcons will be taking on Nassau Community College at 1 p.m. Uh, don't forget to come out, support the Falcons. It should be a great day. Celebrate homecoming. Also going to be celebrating the sophomores. It'll be sophomore day for the Falcons. Uh, come give your, show your appreciation for the sophomores that have been here leading this team. 18 wins in a row, number three ranking in the country, El Toro Bowl champions, and right now have their sights set on another bowl game, but hopefully a national championship game. Yeah, Sakati set, well, set to kick off here for the Falcons. Again, 41 to six. Beautiful day here in Scranton. The sun's out, nice fall day. This is perfect fall football. Sakati ready for the kick. Kicks it short and it'll be taken about the nine yard line. And he is stopped, right? Oh, there is a flag on the play. He deserves to be recognized 33. Looks like William Hackett on the tackle there. What a big hit by Hackett. But they did throw a, uh, they did throw a flag. There is a flag down in the field at the uh, the That was a block in the back on Hawking. We had again Hackett on the tackle. Some of you may not know this, but William Hackett actually has an uncle that played for Lackawanna. Uh, college uh, and actually ended up transferring oh, to West right Virginia. Right so okay. nice little family um, well. family connection there for the Falcons. So Hawking will take the ball with that penalty, back them up uh, first and 10 on their own 12 yard line. Woodard is in that quarterback still. We got three receivers out to the left, one out to the right. And fakes the handoff, Those, number four. Catch on the 20. Tackle there. Salter catches the ball. Warren tackles him on the 20. We have a second down and two. Second down and two. back again. Takes the ball. 
fakes handoff, takes it himself. Oh, he goes in, but Lackawanna swarms him right there. There's nowhere for him to go. No gain on the play. Looks like Haley was in. Haley was in on the tackle there. Also had more in there, but Haley Haley quickly jumped in there and stopped uh, Woodard from going anywhere. We got a timeout on the field here, the Falcons. Again, don't forget to come out tomorrow if you guys are around. There's a doubleheader soccer game over at the University of Scranton's Weiss Field uh, where the men and women Falcon soccer team will be taking on Harkham College in their actually last regular season game uh, of the season as they look to fight for a spot in the Region 19 soccer tournament. Also, if you're around at 1 o'clock, volleyball uh, will be at historic uh, Lackawanna College Student Union playing against Delaware Tech Community College in a Region 19 matchup at 1 o'clock. So back on the field here with 153 left in the second quarter, third down. It's like third and 12. Woodard brings the Hawking offense back on the field. Three wide receivers out left, two out right. He takes a snap, and he is. Oh, and it is. Oh, and it's almost intercepted. Almost intercepted by the Falcons. Uh, Dave Damacqua was there. He had it in his hands. There was a lot of pressure on Woodard. Um, he just dropped it. That'll be fourth down. Hawking will come on to punt the ball. Uh, deep for the Falcons will be number one, Quentin Sanders from South Carolina. Fort Lawn, South Carolina. Palmer's back there as well with Sanders. Uh, both of them have been potent. You don't want to kick to any of them because one of them will run it back for a touchdown. The old punt is almost blocked. It's up as a short kick to about the 46. And Hawking will down it there at the 46 yard line. Falcons had a chance at that punt. They were right there. But they'll take it with a minute 38 left in the second quarter, leading 41 to 6. They have another opportunity to get here on the board at uh, Hawking's 46 yard line. First and 10. Matt Cav Cavalero will bring out the offense, see if they can put another score in before halftime. Again, appreciate everybody joining us here on the Lackawanna College Falcons Athletic Network here on YouTube live. Hope everybody's enjoying the game here. Cavalero brings brings the team out first and ten. Steps back, gets a play from the sideline. He's got Calvin Bell back there in the backfield with him. Cavalero's back. Oh, he's got. Oh, and he completes the pass to the 15. Still going. Nine, eight, uh, ten, ten yard line. Nice pass from Cavalero. Number 12, Tylon Cabello. Tylon Cabello, what a beautiful catch. Caught it about the 25-yard line and moved his way down. Moved his way down to the 10-yard line. Great pass and great catch there from Cavallaro to Cabello. First down here for the Falcons. Cavallaro set him up. About 50-some seconds left in the quarter. Steps back, fires over to the left side. Oh, looked like it could have been pass interference, but no call on the play. Uh, Capolo again, who we just connected to, uh, doing the left side of the end zone. Nice little fade pattern there. Um, could have been a pass interference, but they didn't call it. So we have second and goal here with 49 seconds left in the second uh, in the first half. Falcons get set. Cavalero back. Oh, he's got a wide open. Oh, and he just just overthrows Bell, or Bell just couldn't get it. It's a beautiful pass. He was, Bell was wide open. That'll make it third down and goal with 45 seconds left in the first half. Oh, he's going to want that one back. That he Bell was wide open. Oh, 
All right, third and goal. Cavalo gets the offensive set. Oh, he had Bell again. He goes back to him, and this time it's a touchdown, Falcons. Almost the same exact play to Bell. This time he got him. Actually had two defenders running with him. Ten-yard pass to Calvin Bell. Takes a score to 47 to six, awaiting the point after Cam by Cam Sakati. Time on tap of the hole. Time the holding snap. Right, we have a flag on the play. Let's see what they're saying. Referees are talking. We have a dead ball. Delay. Delay game on the defense. So they'll move it up just a little bit here for the point after. With 41 seconds left in the first half. Snap, the kick is up, and the kick is good to make the score 48 to 6. Lackawanna leads Hawking 48 to 6 with 41 seconds left in the first half. It's nice to see Cavalier go back to Bell there on that play. They knew it would work. He had just overthrown him, and uh, it was a nice, nice to see him go back to him and, and get it in there. So great job by Bell and Cavalier to connect on that touchdown pass. Cam Sakati uh, gets ready to kick the ball off again. 41 seconds left here in the second half. Kicking off to Hawking. The kick is up, and Hawking will take it. Looks like about the three-yard line. They'll run the ball back. Oh, it's fine. Oh, 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 he had it. Looks like he ran into his own man. Brings it back to the 35-yard line. With Sean Smith on the return. Brought it from the two to three yard line back to about the 35. Uh, he had some blockers, but again, it looked like he ran into his own man. So we've got 34 seconds left. Hawking will bring the ball out uh, for first and 10 on the 35 yard line. See if they can get anything going here as they trail Lackawanna 48 to six. And it looks like they're going to go all the way here with Woodard. Uh, again, Woodard uh, came in for Tony White, and he's been moving the ball as much as they can. Again, 34 seconds left, first and 10. Woodard takes the ball back. Lackawanna with the pressure. Oh, and it's another interception. 17. And it is a interception return for a touchdown. Lackawanna. Woodard's pass is intercepted by the Falcons, number 17, David Amakwa. David Amakwa on the last three series has been in there. Another return for Lackawanna for an interception uh, for a touchdown, but he has been all over really the last 15, 20 minutes of this game. What a great great way to go into uh, going to halftime. Right now, that's with 25 seconds left. There was only one play. They take it in for a touchdown. We, we await the Cam Sakati extra point. Uh, right now, it's 54 to 6 with 50, 25 Sakati seconds left. But Sakati's in for the PAT to try to make it 55 to 6. I'm just waiting for the referee to set, get everything set here. Again, 25 seconds left here in the half. Ohio. 
All right, looks like we're about ready here to kick the extra point. Not sure what's taking so much time. Yeah. Cam Sakati again, NJCAA Special Teams Player of the Week. Set to kick the extra point. Snap down, kick up, and the kick is good. With that kick, it is good. makes it 25 seconds left in the first half, 55 to 6. Your Lackawanna Falcons here on the Lackawanna College Falcons Athletic Network. The defense has just come to play today. Uh, they're the number three team in the country, and they're making a statement. Uh, they've had two tough games the past two weeks, and uh, they wanted to come out and make sure there was no letdown in, uh, after they played AS ASA Brooklyn and um, Monroe College have come out today and made a statement to show everybody why they are number three in the country and why they are worthy of that national championship bid. And Coach Duda had them ready to go this week. You know, no letdowns. They've been working hard. Again, 25 seconds left here at Scranton Memorial Stadium in the first, first half, 55 to 6. Cam Sakati is getting ready to kick the ball off to Hawking. And every time Hawking seems to have a big play, the Falcons step up. They had a big kickoff return, and uh, the Falcons stepped up and got the uh, interception for a touchdown. So whatever Hawking does, uh, the Falcons do have an answer for it. Scotty on the kick. Let's see, take it about the three, two, two, two yard line. Comes up, and he is, oh, he's spinning up. Oh, it looks like there's a fumble on the kickoff. And it looks like Lackawanna has recovered the fumble on the kickoff. Fumble is recovered like, by the Falcons, number 41. Yeah, with Jalen Butler, Butler on, the, on the fumble recovery. We still have 17 seconds left here in the first half. We'll see what Coach Duda um, and the Falcons first do here. 10, Falcons. First down 10, about the 20-yard line. Let's see where they, they put them. Looks like the fumble was covered on the... 17, 16 yard line. Jalen Butler on the fumble recovery. And here we go again. Cavalier will bring him out with 17 seconds left. At the actually 20, 21 yard line. Cavalier takes a snap. Oh, he's looking to go. Oh, he has a receiver open. Oh, and it's broken up by number 34 of Hawking. Still 12 seconds to go. Second down from the 21. Second down and 10. I know, but I thought... Of a second down here and 10 with 12 seconds left. Cavalier on the shotgun. Oh, it just passes behind his receiver. Pass. They are definitely trying to get another score here before, before the end of the half. Negron uh, was a C receiver, but he did throw it behind him. So we have third down here, third and 10. See if they can get something here in the end zone. Galero okay, gets the play in, gets the offensive offense set. Back, getting a little pressure. He rolls out to his left. Oh, he's got somebody. And he and Quentin Sanders with the catch. Oh, one-handed catch there. Lackawanna Falcon touchdown. What a catch by Quentin Sanders. I'm not sure how he got that. With 0.8 seconds left in the half, Quentin Sanders on the catch from Cavalero for a touchdown, making it 61-6, to awaiting the extra point. Scotty on for the extra point. Snap is good. Kick is up. 
and the kick is good. 62 to 6. Lackawanna Falcons lead Hawking College with under a second, actually, 0.8 seconds left in the half. 62 to 6, your number three Lackawanna Falcons here on the Lackawanna Falcons Athletic Network. Again, Quentin Sanders on that touchdown pass. Actually, Quentin Sanders was a Marshall commit prior to coming to Lackawanna. And um, he, not only has he been great on the receiving, but he has had a great year here on kickoff, kickoff returns, punt returns, wherever he and Palmer are, they seem to do something. But that was an amazing catch there by Sanders up with that one-handed catch to get right in and uh, keep his feet in the back of the end zone to put Lackawanna up 62-6 to six over Hawking with .8 seconds left. We've got Sam, Sam, uh, excuse me, Cam Sakati uh, about to kick off here uh, to end the half. We'll see what happens here, and we're getting ready to go into halftime. Scotty ready for the kick. It kicks it in and about to the two yard line. They'll try to run it back here. Finds bloggers and he gets dropped at about the 29 yard line. And that is the end of the first half with your number three Lackawanna College Falcons leading 62 to six over Hawking College. Great first half. Hey, enjoy some of our interviews with John Mandola and some of our players here at halftime. Again, 62 to six Lackawanna, and we'll see you here in the third quarter. Cam Sakani with us here at the John Mandola Show via Valley View, playing for the Lackawanna College Falcons. Cam, you got an important uh, job on this team in, in kicking. Um, and, of course, uh, when there's 83 points, you're kicking off a lot, <laughs> or a lot of extra points for that matter. But uh, let's talk about the, you know, your work ethic at Lackawanna College. How has it been to be a, a collegiate kicker? Uh, it's been awesome so far. Uh, they have a set schedule of what we do throughout that practice. So I never have to be confused with what I have to do or what's expected of me. Coach has it all set. We just have to do our job. For you, uh, let's talk about, you know, hey, I want to get another yard, another two yards. I want to make, you know, 10 of 10. I want to make 20 of 21. You know, whatever that is. Uh, What's your focus on, on trying to get better every day at Lackawanna? So there's Joe work you can do as a kicker. Um, you do no steps are called. You just focus on the form, uh, skipping through. Um, and then kickoff, same thing. So I do probably 20 uh, reps per drill every day. And then we have our team session. So that's either going to be punt, kickoff, or uh, field goals for whatever day. How much film do you watch as a kicker? Is, is there much film you watch? Or you're kind of like, hey, I kind of know what I'm doing. Talk about that component yeah. on the college level. So I do watch um, their returning team. Um, and then I watch like pro kickers and collegiate other collegiate kickers just so I can help better my form. Um, I just get better. Let's talk about your, your coaching there at Lackawanna. Who's specializing in special teams? Uh, coach Bear, he's uh, the QB coach and the special teams coordinator. Uh, he does a great job with Luke and me. He, yeah, he, he's the one who actually draws up what we have to do for that given practice. Let's talk about the strength of your leg. You know, what, what's your your furthest field goal that you have? What, what do you think you got in you? Uh, furthest in a game was 42 in high school. Furthest for the, for the Falcons, 38 uh, two weeks ago. Um, my furthest kickoff for Valley View was, I think, a 72. And I think my furthest here was a 70. So, Pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy so far. How about the, the other guys, important components on this team? Snapper, holder, who are those guys? So our long snapper is uh, Tommy Mahoney. Uh, he's from PA also. Uh, he, he does a really good job. He gets the ball back. Rarely has to spin the laces, so he does a really good job. And then my holder is actually Tig, um, our safety. And he, every, his hands are crazy. Ball is there. He gets it down instantly. You have another Valley View teammate uh, with you, which is, is pretty cool. Now, he's a he's a tackle, but nonetheless, I'm, I'm sure you guys get to share some fun stories. So what's that experience go like uh, to be be around a high school teammate? Uh, it's good. We actually, we were, we were, obviously, we were close in high school, but we weren't that close. So now he's actually become one of my really close friends within the last two months. And it's crazy. I didn't know he was, uh, I don't know he was that cool. 
How about the, the other guys? You're, you're meeting guys from all over the country, getting to develop some of these relationships, learning about different people's cultures, different things like that. What's that experience been like for you? It's, it's been amazing. Um, I've always I wanted to be most uh, more diverse with my knowledge for cultures. Um, the one guy's Buddhist, so he's been teaching me a little bit about the practice. Um, and yeah, it's just it's nice to meet all, literally like you said, guys from all over. How about for you, getting the college routine down at Lackawanna? It seems like a, it's the right setup. You know, it's not too far from home for a guy like you. You know, you get your feel for your class and start to get into that routine. So, hey, when you go off to wherever, you're going to be pretty much set up. Yeah, that's it. I'm really happy. They literally routine. That's what I needed in my life. That's why I wanted to come here. Um, and, yeah, my parents get to come see every home game. So it's a win-win. Coach Duda, uh, talk about that that father figure, yeah. that that guy. Like, man, this is one of the toughest guys I've ever met my life. But and what it's like to, to be able to play under him. Yeah, he really is what everyone says about him. Uh, it's just you feel like you want to make him proud. Like, I guess like a father figure. Like, you know, if I miss a kick, I'm gonna let him down. I just don't want to let anyone down. But everything he says, I take to heart. Um, I know he has a lot of knowledge. He's been around Lackawanna for a while. He's a good, he's a really good guy. Let's go back to, to some of the good old days at, at Valley View with the people in that community that, that really have helped you out, whether it's coaches or teachers, guidance counselors, administrators. Uh, what was it like for you? Uh, every single person that I did come in contact with, them, they really did help me. Um, coaches sending my film out everywhere. Our strength and conditioning coaches, they were always trying to help me get better, my legs get better. Um, we had a yoga instructor, uh, Talia from Quest Studio. She was helping me with flexibility and stuff to do at my own house. So every, everyone, all my teachers, if they ever, if I ever needed anything, they let them know. How about uh, family? What does that mean to you? Who's, who's in your corner rooting for you, pushing you, pulling you, doing all those things that families do? Uh, my mom and dad, my sister Ava, they're all very supportive. Every, they're always texting me, calling me. Um, my grandparents, I have one, I have grandma and grandpa, but they're always very supportive. Um, and then everyone who's been before me, like, I take my last name with pride. I want to really make sure I do something good with it. I think you're doing a lot of positive things at Lackawanna College Camp. Great to catch up with you and hear your story. The best of luck, all right? Thank you. Jair Brown here on the John Mandola Show at Arcaro and Janelle, uh, defensive back for the Lackawanna College Falcons. Jair, let's let's go back uh, to your to your high school days. You're from Trenton, New Jersey. Yes. Uh, tough place. Probably a tough guy. So yes. tell us a little bit about growing up in Trenton. What it was like for you? Um, growing up in Trenton, you had to stay on the right path. You know, you were a football player. You definitely had to stay on that path and uh, try to block out all the negativity around you and uh, really lock in on your goal and your own. Um, and what you wanted to accomplish growing up. So that's what I did to survive and train. I just stayed on uh, the right path and uh, stayed focused and did what I had to do. And stay busy. So important to stay busy. Three sports. Yes. Basketball, football, track. Man, you were with it all the time, which which was a good thing. So tell us about your, your passion for some of those other sports. Yeah, uh, football and basketball was my greatest passion. You know, to stay busy, I ran track. And, uh, I was really shaky with track. I didn't really like track, but, you know, I wanted to stay busy and I wanted to stay focused on what I was trying to achieve and I was to play the one football. So to stay focused on them, that's that's what I had to do. Let's go back to high school. A coach, a teacher, a guidance counselor, an administrator. Was there somebody in the school that was that was trying to rally around and say, hey, you got this, you could do this? Yes, actually my coach Booker, um, all my coaches were great, you know, but uh, my coach Booker, he was the one who stood out to me the most, uh, you know, going to his house to study. Uh, going out to eat after practice, going out to eat at the game, always picking me up, always there. He uh, actually was the first one to go on my Penn State visit with me uh, to take pictures and all that. So I really look at him as one of my role models growing up, and I inspire other kids to be like him. Down there. How about the family? Let's talk about some some key components in your family that you know they're always there for you, they're rooting for you, kind of making sure that hey, you know, you you got a great meal or you got a great conversation or whatever it is. Uh, yeah. Yeah, my family are uh, one of my greatest supporters, too, right alongside of my coach. Um, my mom always there every game. You can catch her in Ohio and Arizona and wherever we go, California, she'll be there no matter what. Uh, and my uncle is one of my biggest supporters, too. My dad always watching. He'll never make it to the game, but he always watching from uh, the live streams and all that, texting me during halftime or texting me after the game, you know, great job. Uh, you could have had this, you could have had that. Always giving me constructive criticism on game and how I did. So my family is one of my biggest support systems, too. 
talk with Jair Brown here on the Java Dola Show at our care on Janelle, the pizza capital of the world. Jair, lack of one of calls. Let's talk about how that process happened and getting to meet Coach Duda and like, all right, man, this this guy's the real deal here. Uh, yeah, um, Coach Reese was actually the first one ever to reach out from Lackawanna College from uh, North versus Southfield Sims All-Star game that I participated in New Jersey. Uh, Coach Reese reached out. He was like, you know, you're a great athlete. We really want you here and all that. And I didn't have a school to go to during the time. So I looked into it. You know, I, speak, I spoke with Coach Reese. And when I met Coach Duda for the first time, I was like, there's no way. There's no way this guy is just incredible, you know from his posture to the way he talks, to the way he presents himself, so, you know, that's just a guy you want to follow. That's a guy you want to lead. And ever since then, he's been leading and doing exactly what I expected from him. How about your teammates around you, man? This defense, you guys just, I don't know how you do it, but you guys are constantly on your heels. You know, there's interceptions at the goal line. There's fumbles at the three-yard line. There's crazy stuff happening, but it all happens with great players. Yep. Um, when you expect so much out of each other, those are the type of results you get. You know, I expect so much out of DeJohn and out of Robert Kennedy and out of uh, Mike and uh, even the linebackers. I expect a lot out of them besides the DB core and the D-line. You know, we all contribute to these wins and we all go out there and expect the most and do our part. So when you do your part on the field, it, it makes the game so much easier, makes the game so much slower, and you can actually be more relaxed and play your game how you want to. I hear that Jair Brown guy, that's you, yeah. has got a tremendous skill set. So let's talk about that skill set that has now have you committed to Penn State University. What is it about you you think that said, hey, we like this guy? Um, well, I was actually trained in high school by uh, one of my coaches, Sean Hackett, who went to uh, West Virginia. And, you know, we used to sit down. He used to break film down to me. Uh, really got my IQ up in the game of football. You know, so once he did that and once I really learned the game of football um, from a film aspect, from a mental aspect, and, a, like, it just transferred over to the field. So now I know what to do when I'm out there. That's secondary, man. We got some shutdown people there. <laughs> you guys are playing some zero coverage and stuff like that. But that D-line's important. Those linebacks are important. All those things you hit on earlier. Let's talk about some of that talent and, and guys with that ability to cover people. Um, you know, we all knew we had that ability. We all had to share some of the same abilities. And, you know, and to be able to go out there and play cover zero with no safety over the top, that's a, a big advantage for a defense, you know. And uh, we trust Coach Reese with that uh, play call and everything. So when you got guys like Robert and guys like DeJohn that, that are tremendous athletes, you can go out there and afford to gamble and play cover zero and still come out on top. Staying healthy is such an important component. You guys start early and, you know, early practices and, and getting to study hall, getting to your classes. There's a lot of things that go into it um, for you. You feel like you got your routine down at Lackawanna College. Everything has fallen into place. Yeah, it was a bit of a struggle my first semester. You know, it was a lot of meetings all day. You got practice at night. It was, it was a bit of a struggle. But uh, during the middle of that first semester I was here, uh, I then got the routine down. I know how, I know when to study. I know how to study. I know when to get my work done. I know to get the work done before the game, you know, so you can relax after. So, yeah, I really got everything down packed now, and I'm pretty much prepared for the next level. Right now we got a little pipeline to Penn State, you know. Uh, we got a guy there playing safety. Yeah. <laughs> we got a receiver going there. We got you going there. So things are looking good, and, and I'm sure that's, that feels good to know that some of your teammates are all going to kind of head to be a Nittany Lion. Yep. Um, you know, Penn State is also uh, another huge program that loves to win. That loves Lackawanna, know we love to win. So we share that connection, that 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 will to win with another team. You know, we have no problem feeding them our best players. You know, them. You see, as you see now, they're winning now. And uh, Jaquan Briscoe, who's out there playing, playing a, a great game with Penn State. You know, he's actually putting on for uh, Lackawanna right now. And we're able to produce these athletes for Penn State and uh, get them ready for their national title they're going to get this year. Yeah, I said that. Yeah, national title this year. Ja Kwan coming up with that turnover the other night against Iowa. Um, let's talk about the, the friendships you've developed. you got guys all over the country here. You've got some local guys, guys from Jersey, New York, different areas. Uh, what's that bond been like for you to meet some of these different guys, different cultures, different feelings? Uh, it's, it's great, you know, and some of these guys, they share the same the same will to win as you. So it was like, when I first got here, it was like Jaquan Briscoe, he wanted to win just as bad as me. As long as Savion Williams, he wanted to win just as bad as me. So when you get all these guys together, it's unstoppable force, and that's what caused us to go undefeated last year. And same thing with this year. These guys want it, they want to win, 
everybody want to put on for their family members, and, and it's going to turn out to be a great season again. Let's talk about the height and weight. Uh, what size are you right now? Uh, oh. 6'1", 205 pounds. All right, you're in perfect shape, I think, for that next level as well. Well, keep up the great work. I know you guys have a big game coming up this week, and, and keep it going, all right? Yeah, thank you. Billy Reese with us here at the John and Dola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire Service. We're at our Carol and Janelle, the takeaway kitchen. We're talking about the Lackawanna College Falcons football team. Uh, Billy, you're the defensive coordinator. Big responsibility. Yeah. Man, it's nice when that defense is playing well. It's not playing well for a couple of weeks. playing well for a couple of years. Yeah. Uh, but let's go week by week. And uh, overall, your, your feel for the 2019 version of the Falcons. How have you guys been playing football? Uh, I, I feel really good about the 2019. Uh, Falcons uh, on offense you know we do some really good things on special teams we play really great special teams and on defense you know we, we play really good lights out defense you have so many D-backs. Josh Bartini was joking and saying, hey, you know, we, co we do a lot of cover zero. <laughs> Talk a little bit about having athletes that can just cover guys one-on-one. -on -one. That's not easy to do. Yeah, you know, it, it just uh, shows a testament to our recruiting, really. Um, you know, we recruit great athletes, um, and, and we really coach uh, man technique and stuff like that, and really, you know, the fundamental breakdown of, of those different man techniques that we do. Every part, though, has an important. If you're able to do that, you got to put pressure on the quarterback. Yep. So your D line is yep. important. Yep. Your linebackers have to do the job because they're going to blitz once yep. in a while. They got to cover some backs out of the backfield. So talk about all the levels of that defense when you do do that. So we we have a saying at Lackawanna: everyone on uh, everyone on defense stops the pass. So uh, defensive line has to get a great rush. Uh, linebackers have to do underneath coverage and sometimes blitz. And you know, in our defense. Defense, our linebackers have to know a lot of information because uh, we're sending them off off every edge and every corner, and then our defensive backs just have to hold up for about five seconds, and you know that that's an average play for us. You know these kids reaching their potential as as players, but as coaches, you know you guys are always working to try to do that. For you, when you first started as a coach, and now here you are, year after year, these defenses are getting better. Um, you look back and say, hey, I, I'm kind of working towards towards my goals and, yeah. and reaching my potential as a coach. Yeah. Um, you know, my, my goal, uh, first and foremost, is, is to graduate as many kids, obviously, from Lackawanna. I, I think that's all of our coaches' goals uh, collectively. And then uh, it, it, the goal that goes along with that, uh, we try to win as many football games as possible. You know, there, there are two main goals. There are emphasis on everything. Um, you know, my goal um, defensively is just to be a top five defense in, in the country. And, you know, over the past five years or so, we've really accomplished all those goals, you know, I've set out. Let's talk about this past weekend, Monroe, a top opponent, what you guys were able to do uh, as a team and defensively to kind of slow them down a little bit and score more points than them. Uh, so, you know, Monroe is a great team. They're number seven in the country. Um, defensively, honestly, we just tried to put as much pressure as possible. Uh, we run a very high-pressure defense system, so we're just, like I said, sending pressure from all over all over the yard. And then, you know, offensively, we just we, we ran the ball and, you know, we, we, we completed balls when we needed to, and we came away with the win. All right, scouting report on hockey this week. What kind of offense do they have? What's, what's the defense need to do this week? A couple keys for the Falcons to get a victory. Uh, hockey is a multiple front front offense, so they, they do everything from spread it, um, spread it out, and then they, you know, when they get in two backs and stuff like that, they love to, love to pound the ball. Uh, our objective this week is to shut down the quarterback. Uh, we identified the quarterback as the best player, so that's that's who we aim to shut down. Right, well, it'll be an interesting task this week. Week after week, you guys have goals. We're going to talk to one of your defensive backs who's a Penn State commit. Uh, tell us about who we're going to talk to and what kind of player is he. Uh, Jair, he's a great player. He's, he's, he's really football smart. Jair Brown, uh, they call him Tig. Uh, you know, he's just very football smart. He actually, last week, he came up with two big interceptions. Luke Payne with us. He is the punter for the Lackawanna College Falcons. We're in our Carol Dunnell, the pizza capital of the world. Uh
Yeah, welcome back to the Lackawanna College Falcons Athletic Network here. About, about two minutes left till the third quarter. A little recap here from the game. Again, the Lackawanna College Falcons lead Hawking College 62-6 to here going into the third quarter. A couple stats for you. Matt Cavallero, starting quarterback for uh, the Falcons, has thrown six touchdown passes, and the defense has come to play today. They have five interceptions with two of them for touchdowns. So again, then to end the half, as everyone saw there, Quentin Sanders had an amazing catch there at the back of the um, end zone, a little one-hand catch from Matt Cavallero for his sixth touchdown pass of the game. So again, we've got about a minute and a half left. We'll be right back with you here on the Lackawanna College Falcons Athletic Network as we get ready to start. The second half of your number three, Lackawanna College and Hawking College. Again, welcome back to the Lackawanna College Falcons Athletic Network. I'm Chris Sawyer, Sports Information Director here for the Falcons. So we get ready to start the second half. The Falcons will be receiving, uh, taking the kickoff here. Again, the score right now, 62 to six in favor of the Falcons. Again, don't forget, we mentioned next week is homecoming, the 25th against Nassau Community College, 1 p.m. kickoff here at Scrant Memorial Stadium. Also will be sophomore day, uh, come out and support and. Uh, Pay tribute to the sophomores who have set the standard for 18 wins in a row, El Toro Bowl victory, and right now the number three ranking in the country. As we said before, the Falcons have come off two tough victories uh, against Monroe College and ASA Brooklyn. They are the reigning back-to-back -back Northeast Football Conference champions uh, as they wrapped that up last week with a 30-17 victory over Monroe College. Here they are today right now coming out. This isn't a letdown game, as some people may have thought. 62-6, offense is rolling. The defense is in there. Five interceptions again, two for touchdowns. Matt Cavallaro has thrown six touchdown passes. As we get ready here, another beautiful day here in Scranton. Great day for fall football. Getting ready here to set the ball. Just waiting for the referee to take it out there. Lackawanna is out there ready to go uh, to receive the ball and get the second half started. I hope you also enjoyed the interviews we had uh, from John Mandola and some of the players and coaches from uh, the Lackawanna staff. Now I'm filling in this week uh, weekend for John. Uh, John is out of town, but I look forward to working with him. He and I will be doing uh, the games together, and uh, glad that I could uh, keep the seat warm for him. And do what he's doing. John does a great job here at the uh, Lackawanna College Falcons Athletic Network. Look forward to working with him. And it looks like we're about ready to kick off here the second half. Again. Uh, Hawk, Hawking College will kick the ball off. And Lackawanna, again, you have Palmer and Sanders back, uh, both of them. You don't want to kick to either of them. Both of them have an opportunity every time they touch the ball to take it back. And the kick is up. It's a short kick. Lackawanna takes it at the 30. It's, oh, he's got, a, he's, he's got some blocks. He's going down the sideline. And he is taken out at about the, let's see where they put him out. It's Devin White right there. Let's see where they place the ball, where he stepped out of bounds. Oh, we do have a penalty flag, though. So let's hold on just a second before they place the ball. Uh, we do have a holding call on the Falcons on the kickoff, so that'll bring that back. Uh, 
and both teams have agreed here to do with the score 62 to 6. The third and fourth quarters will be not 15, but 10 minute quarters. Just want to make sure everybody understands that correction. So there will be a 10 minute third quarter and a 10 minute fourth quarter. Falcons do have the ball at their own 29, first and 10. It's like Cavalero brings the offense out. Tight end is in motion. The handoff around the corner to about the 30. There's a bell again. Bell's having a great game. Looks like he's about the 30. Uh, another penalty flag on the field. Let's wait and see what that is. Bell had a nice uh, run off the right. It's about the 38, 39 yard line. It looks like we have hands to the face or targeting foul. That a 15 yard personal foul. That'll move Lackawanna all the way up to the Hawking 40, 47 yard line for a first down. Cavaleros quickly gets the play coming up to the line. Bell's in the backfield with him. He's got two wide receivers out to the left, one out to the right. Takes a snap. Up, oh, fakes the bell. Oh, and it's an incomplete pass there. That was uh, intended for Papalo. Papalo on the intended reception for Papalo. Threw it behind him. Little quick pass. We got second down here in ten. Cavalera. We got Bell again in the back uh, backfield with him. Parts lined up on the left. Again, two wide receivers out to the left, one out to the right. Hands the ball to Bell. Goes down through the middle. Looks like he gets a few yards on that. He's tackled at the 44-yard line of Hawking. Gain of five. We have third down. Bell stays in the game. Going no huddle here, getting the call from the sideline. Third and six. Cavalier back, ready to take the snap. He's got a receiver. Oh, too low on the throw. Had, a, had a Quentin Sanders wide open there, uh, threw it low. So that is a three. Third down, here we go. Fourth down, Luke Payne will come out to punt for the Falcons. And 8.31 left in the second quarter. Again, we are going 10-minute quarters, third and fourth quarter here in the game. Luke Payne with the punt. And Hawking lets it go, and it is O, oh, and they, they had an opportunity, but it went into uh, the end zone for a touchback. Well, they had an opportunity. They had four guys around the ball, and uh, I think they weren't sure what was going to happen there. So we'll change uh, possessions here. Hawking will have the ball, first and ten. Maybe Hawking's ball on the – 20 yard line. First and 10 for Hawking. Woodard's back out at quarterback to start the second half. That's not the series that uh, Laka wanted, wanted to have, but um, again, leading 62 to 6. Defense will come in and try to make a statement here and, and stop uh, Woodard uh, from trying to move the ball. Woodard hands it off, takes the ball himself. And he is going no well. He, he shakes one tackle. Actually, he made a loss, turn into about a two, three yard gain there. Lackawanna had him wrapped up in the backfield, but he snuck away. The little ankle tackle, he got out of it. And uh, looks like he had about a three yard gain. Again, Gamble's in there, uh, as he has been all day. So then we have second down at the 23 yard line. So second and seven at the 23 yard line. Woodard gets his team ready to go.
Looks like on the sideline we have Grant Johnson warming up, so it'll be interesting to see if he comes in. Uh, Woodard with the pass, uh, no pass. He's scrambling, scrambling, but Lackawanna again right there. Uh, Woodard, Woodard won a pass with a lot of pressure there that made him uh, get out to the left and scramble. They have third and seven now. We have Hickerson Ricks on the tackle. Hickerson Rooks on the tackle, excuse me. And we have third and seven. Uh, Woodard sets him up. He's got two wide receivers, one out left, one out right. He's got a pass, and he completes it at the 38-yard line for a hawking first down. It's a nice pass there by Woodard. Mike Crawford was in there on the tackle. Uh, That'll be a first down uh, at the 36-yard line for Hawking. 6.21 left in the first, uh, third quarter, 62-6, to six, first and 10. Woodard will set him up again. Handoff to the 46, about the 46-yard line. Uh, it's a nice little run there by Hawking. That'll be a first down. Another first down for Hawking. Woodard's got his uh, offense moving here in the second half, and that's something they weren't able to do in the first half unless there was a penalty. But they have a moving right there. It was a nice little run out to the left, and that'll set up a first and 10 for Hawking on their own 48-yard line. Woodard set, ready for the snap. Another handoff. Another run out there right through the middle, and he got about just about a three. Another nice little run there by Hawking, about a three-yard line. Lawrence uh, carried the ball for about three yards. Um, the second down for Hawking. They're actually in Lackawanna territory here with five minutes left in the third quarter. Woodard gets the, uh, gets the line ready for the play, steps back. Five receiver in motion, hands it off to 13. 13 out to, the, oh, got a couple blocks in the, not a bad run there. Uh, stays in, they keep him in bounds to keep the clock running. Keyshawn Moore on the tackle. He's had a good game today. Again, Keyshawn Moore from Suffolk, Virginia, transfer from JMU. He has 42 total tackles uh, going into this game this season in one sack. Third down right now on the Lackawanna 46 yard line. The chain gang had it at fourth, but it is third down. Woodard takes a snap. He's looking downfield. He has a receiver open, but it's broken up and it's, uh, oh, it almost intercepted and then they catch the ball. What a play, wow. Lackawanna had two tips on that, and somehow it ended up in uh, number four's hands for Hawking. We thought Lackawanna had an interception there. That was a crazy play. But they do catch the ball down on the Lackawanna 23-yard 20, line. It's like we have an injury, injury on the field. Uh, Gianni Gamble, actually, who's had a great game, is down right now. That'd be a tough loss. Uh, for Lackawanna, he's had a great he's had a great game today. He was in on that tip drill there. Coach Dude is actually out at the out at the twenty, taking a look at him. Definitely can't afford to lose him uh, with the next upcoming games here. I mean, it's a sixty-two to six game. Hopefully he's all right. They're checking on him right now. Okay, he is getting up. That's a good sign. Looks like it's his shoulder, possibly. Yeah, what, they've got the trainer out there. It looks like it could be disco. It looks like they're popping it back in. 
Ugh. That's a tough one for uh, G. Mm, that's a tough one. Looks like they're popping it back in. As you can see, their move, his arm's moving. They got his arm up. Mm. Again, don't forget about homecoming next week, where Lackawanna will face uh, Nassau Community College, and also a sophomore day, 1 p.m. Gamble's coming off the field to a round of applause from the Falcon fans here. Hopefully, he'll be all right and be ready to go next week. But he's had a great game today. He's been all over the field, uh, putting it on the line for the Falcons. All right, Hawking College will come up. Uh, first down here after that uh, crazy completion. Woodard will get the team set. First and 10 here from the 23-yard line. Winner takes a snap. Oh, throws, oh, and it's intercepted. 30, 40, 45, 50. He's got a full. Oh, there's no one gonna no one's gonna stop him right now. That is Purdy. Oh, that is a touchdown. Falcons. What an interception. Stepped right in front of that ball. There was no one there in front of him to stop him. Josiah Purdy on the interception. Stepped right in front of that ball. No one in front of him. Another touchdown. Again, that is the sixth interception of the day for the Falcons, the third for a touchdown. Cam Sakati to take the extra point here right now, 68 to six. Sakati trying to make it 69 six with the point after. It's set. Snap is up, good, kick is up, and it is good. With 3.18 left in the third quarter, Sakati's extra point makes it your number three Lackawanna Falcons, 69, Hawking, six. Again, thank you for joining us here on the Lackawanna College Falcons Athletic Network here on a great day in Scranton, Pennsylvania at Scranton Memorial Stadium. Need to thank President Volk, AD Joya Whittington, Assistant AD Eric Larson for getting us on the air here with YouTube Live and hope you guys join us every Saturday at home as we cover the Lackawanna Falcons college football. Again, as I said, next week is homecoming, sophomore day. Don't forget to be out here and come check us out. We are the only football team here in Scranton College Football and in the state of Pennsylvania, we are the winningest college football team percentage wise in the state of Pennsylvania. So come on out and watch. There's tons of kids who are going FBS, FCS next year. You've got two that are going to Penn State, one Norfolk, uh, excuse me, North Carolina State. You've got Hampton University transfer, JMU transfer, UMass uh, commit, people that were committed to West Virginia. You've got an offensive line that's unreal, and there's even a better one coming in next year. So come out. There's a lot of kids you can see as they go on to the Division I rank and say you saw them right here at Scranton Memorial Stadium. All right, with three minutes and 18 seconds left, uh, the Falcons are prepared to kick off. Sakati kicks the ball off and takes it in for a touchback. Hawking will bring that out to the 25-yard line for a first down. Again, 318 left in the third period, 69-6. to six. And again, as I said earlier, we will, we will be doing 10-minute quarters, uh, third and fourth quarter. Hockey will come back on the field. Let's see, it looks like it. Woodard is still out there as their quarterback. First and 10 from their own 25-yard line with 318 left in the third quarter. 
Again, Lackawanna's defense has been nothing but unreal today, stopping everything. Six interceptions. Up quarterback takes it again. Woodard's been doing a lot of that today. He gets out of one tackle. He gets, well, it's not a bad run there. He gets about four or five yards. Uh, Woodard on the carry. Be second and five here for Hawking. Woodard's ready to take the snap. High snap, hands it off. Bounces off a tackle uh, to the left, trying to make some. Oh, oh, big hit right there. The helmet came off, Lackawanna. Nice tackle there uh, by Lackawanna. Butler on that stop and uh, Hawking, he bounced off one tackle, went to the left, but there was nothing but uh, blue jerseys right there to stop him. So that'll bring up third down third for Hawking down. at their own 31 yard line. Third and five. Woodard setting the offense, getting the play. Two out left, two out right. Fakes one way up. Oh, he has nothing. Pressure, he's running out to his left. Was it? And oh, there's going to be a flag on the play. He had overthrown his receiver, but looks like there might be some sort of pass interference here on Lackawanna. Pass was intended for number 13. Let's see what the, the call is, but it looks like it's going to be some sort of pass interference or holding on Lackawanna. And honestly, this is really how um, Hawking's been able to move the ball sometimes. They've bailed out with some penalties. So that will move the ball down and give them a first down at their own 41-yard line. Take snap again, quarterback keeper. Bounces off and there's nothing there. Blue jerseys everywhere coming off the blocks. You had Hines on there, you had Purdy on there. Hines and Purdy, both of them came through there. I tell you, one thing we've seen today is this defensive line of the Falcons has been able to get right through and put a lot of pressure on Woodard, come right through that line. Same with their offensive line. Their offensive line has been able to hold and give Cavalero a lot of time to throw the ball. So we've got second and 10 here. See the Falcons get through that line again as Woodard snaps the ball. Again, quarterback keeper, what he's been doing, and they he gets through one or two. He's been able to sneak through a little bit. It looks like he picks up about uh, two or three yards there. Once he gets about two yards, then the um, Falcons defense swarms on him. He has just nowhere. He has nowhere to go. Sean Harmon right there leading the leading the attack of the jer blue jerseys. It's another third down here for Hawking on their own 49-yard line. Let's see if Lackawanna's defense can step up and stop him right here from getting any more yards. We got 21 seconds left in the uh, quarter. See if they can get the snap off here for one more play. And they do. Woodard steps back, there's pressure. He has nothing, he's scrambling, and they bring him down, they hold him to uh, to nothing. Hickerson Rooks, Hickerson Rooks on the tackle. They'll uh, set up a fourth down. Uh, and actually, that's the end of the third quarter. Again, we're going 10 minute quarters right now. Lackawanna College, 69. Hawking College, six. As we get ready to head to the fourth quarter. You're Lackawanna College, 69. Hawking College, Hawk, six. 
Lackawanna College transforms lives, and your future is waiting. Begin the next chapter in your story and join us Saturday, November 16th at 9 a.m. for our open house. We offer on-campus and online programs with one of the lowest higher education costs in Pennsylvania. Visit the campus of your choice and learn about the 30 different majors we offer. Tour our facilities, speak to our financial aid staff, and learn more about campus activities and organizations. Visit us at Lackawanna.edu. This is life-changing. This is Lackawanna College. And welcome back to Lackawanna College Falcons Athletic Network here. Heading into the fourth quarter game between your number three Lackawanna College Falcons and Hawking College. The score right now is the Falcons 69, the Hawks 6. Again, 10-minute quarters. We're going 10 minutes here in the fourth quarter. Lackawanna College looks to keep their number three ranking going into and hopefully moving up going into next week's polls. Again, first time in history. Not only are they back-to-back Northeast football conference champions, but they are also had two player of the weeks this week, uh, national player of the weeks. Again, we talked about Jair Brown and Cam Sakati. Brown was the NJCA national defensive player of the week, with Sakati being the national special teams player of the week. A lot going on here at Lackawanna College. Uh, we talked about Devin, um, Devin Palmer. He's been one of the guys in the backfield. He actually uh, one of those guys didn't know about Lackawanna College, found out uh, from uh, Coach Duda's former roommate. A lot of connections here, and this is a close-knit uh, community here at Lackawanna College, and we're happy to be on the air with you here on YouTube. And we are set for fourth and seven. Hawking has the ball at their own 48-yard line with the start of the fourth quarter. Again, Lackawanna 69, Hawking 6. Woodard set, takes it again, what he's been doing, and there's nowhere to go, and he slips out, but there's nowhere to go, nowhere to go go for Woodard again. Number 53, Jaleel Boothman on the tackle, setting up a, that's a turnover on downs there. He got a couple yards, but the Falcons have the ball. Let's see if uh, the Falcons go to their backup quarterback here, leading 69 to six. Yep, the Falcons actually have put in uh, Grant, John- Grant Johnson, uh, co- freshman quarterback, uh, 6'2", 215 pounds out of Blacksburg, Virginia. We'll see some action here. He's got first down. First and 10 on Hawkins' 47-yard line. Johnson takes a snap, hands it, hands it off. That's Bell. Gets a couple yards, maybe one yard on the – maybe one. Two yards. Calvin Bell has been another one who stepped up and had a great, um, a great game today. And so we have second down. Oh, we had a flag, but they've waved the flag off. So Lackawanna is at uh, Hawking's 44-yard line. Second down. Johnson's ready for the snap. He gets it, hands it off again to Bell. Oh, Bell fumbles the ball, and Hawking picks it up. I know if that was a bad, bad handoff, but he got he got through the first uh, first tackler and dropped the ball. It may have been stripped. But Cameron Schultz on the uh, recovery. That'll be a first down. Nine minutes and ten seconds left here in the fourth quarter. That's the first. Uh, that's the first turnover by the Falcons today. So that set up uh, first and 10 for Hawking on their own 47-yard line. Woodard brings the offense back out. He's set. He's got two backs in the backfield with him. Two wide receivers to the left, one to the right. That's a handoff. He comes off the left to the 50, and he's pulled down here, pulled down by Butler at the 46-yard line. So that'll be second down uh, for Hawking. Again, on the 46-yard line, Woodard will get him set up, ready to go again. It's like second and four. Again, two backs next to him, two wide receivers to the right, one to the left. 
And hands off to 27, and he's going nowhere. Lackawanna right in the backfield immediately. Sean Harmon. Sean Harmon on the stat right there in the backfield. Nowhere to go for the Hawking uh, College running back. As I said all game, the uh, defensive line for the Falcons have been able to penetrate the offensive line. Harmon showed right there. Jumped right through on the stop. It's third down and seven. Around midfield for Hawking. Woodard will get him set up again. Goes back to pass. Another more pressure. He's scrambling. And he gets some yard, but again, Lackawanna's line is just too much, uh, too much for Hawking. I think Stallings it there on the uh, on the stop. And Ramon Stallings was there on the stop. We have another fourth down. Of course, trailing 69-6, Hawking, um, Hawking will go for this. They have fourth down and about four. Woodard gets the play set. Takes the handoff, and there is – oh, when he fakes the handoff, and number two, quarterback Woodard takes it in, but he stopped oh, – he did get – looks like with forward progress, he did get the first down. Tackle was five by Boothman, but Woodard had, had a nice fake there and took it through the line and got uh, got the first down. So that'll set up a uh, first down for the Hawks at uh, the Lackawanna 42-yard line. Woodard gets his offense set. Takes out, rolls out right, looking downfield. He's being chased. And, oh, what a play. Lackawanna tips it, hits off the helmet of the receiver of uh, Hawking. If he would have saw that ball, he probably could have taken it in for a touchdown. Well, that'll set up second down. Yeah, that should have been a touchdown if he would have seen uh, if he would have seen it, but it bounced right off his head. Again, Woodard gets everybody set for the Hawks. It's second down and ten at the Lackawanna 42-yard line. 6:27 left in the quarter. Fakes the handoff a little. But oh, looks like there's a fumble. No, that's an pass. Let's see what they call there. They, pass. Yeah, that probably will be an incomplete pass, being a shovel pass, but let's see what they call. The officials are talking about it. Yeah, they are calling an incomplete pass, so that'll be Hawking's, uh, Hawking's ball, third down. Pass. It was a shovel pass up front, so of course he did. He he didn't even uh, get possession of it, so of course that would be an incomplete pass. So we have again third down, uh, the Hawking. Six nineteen left in the game. Woodard gets his team set again. Winter takes a snap, rolls out right. He's looking, and oh, and uh, Lackawanna was there. Uh, there is a flag on the play. Probably going to be a hold. Uh, it was double coverage that he was throwing into, but let's see what the call is. Uh, most likely a hold it is going to be on Lackawanna. And that was a third down play for Hawking. That'll give him a first automatic first down. Yeah, it is on Lackawanna. So they'll move the ball up to the, the 32 yard line of Lackawanna for the first first down for Woodard and the Hawking offense. 6-11 left here in the game. Lackawanna leading 69 to six. Winter takes a snap, hands it off, run through the middle. 
uh, to number 20. It's about a uh, eight yard gain there, or seven yard gain. So we'll have second and three. Michael Lawrence, the ball carrier. What will bring him up again? 5:52 going uh, here in the left in the fourth quarter. What to get some set? It's got two wide receivers, left one right, running back in the backfield. Uh, it's another run right up the middle, and that is a another first down for Hawking. They're moving the ball, uh, running the ball well this this series. First down here at the uh, 17 17 yard line of Lackawanna. First and 10 with 520 left First in the fourth quarter. Woodard will get set up quick, get the play, and ready to go. Change it up a little bit. Woodard's ready. He's set. Uh, we've got, uh, looks like, the wide receiver on the right side for Hawking. Uh, got a little anxious and uh, was ready to score, but uh, nobody, else, nobody else was ready to move with him. Uh, so there is a uh, flag on the play. It looks like another flag just came up, too. Let's see what that's about. So they had the flag on the, on the false start, but then after that, a flag came out over near the line over here on the home side, so he's picking it up. Let's see what they call. Yeah, dead ball, false start on the on the offense, but then we have a dead ball. Uh, oh, and then there's this unsportsmanlike call on Hawking as well, so there's two penalties on the offense. So that's gonna move them back with 5.02 left here in the game. They were putting a nice little drive together, but that penalty right there will move them back, and that hurts because uh, they were running the ball at will against the Falcons' defense during this drive. First down and 30. So now we have a first and 30 for Hawking. Woodard sets the offense. He's ready to go in first and 30 here with 4.35 left in the quarter. Takes the ball, another run up. He holds it himself and he is smothered by the Lackawanna defense. Javon Boothman got right in there, came through the line and took him down like he's been doing all day. Defensive line up, but there is another penalty on the field. And this is going to be on Lackawanna. It's going to move them right back, personal foul. So that takes away the personal foul that, um, that Hawking had done. So it moves the Hawks up 15 yards. So they were in first, first and 30. And then Lackawanna got through the line, sacked the quarterback, but had a personal foul. And now that moves them up, uh, back up to a first and 10. Woodard's set, takes the ball, looks, fakes, looks to his right, has a receiver open, and he had the receiver, but he dropped it. Good coverage there by the defense. Uh, Trevor Hines on the coverage. It's great coverage there. Stay with the ball, looked at the ball, and there's really nothing much uh, Hawking could do. It was a nice little pass, but Hines was in there for the breakup. All right, that'll set up second down. We have four minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Lackawanna leads 69-6 to six here on the Lackawanna College Falcons Athletic Network. Second down, Woodard has them set, ready to go. Two receivers left, one right. But he's being pressured again, nowhere to go. Oh, they're all over him on that sack. Again, the defensive line is having doing anything they want. That was Hickerson Rooks again. We've heard his name a lot today. Another great uh, coming through, coming through the line. He had Payne there as well, helping him out. But Rooks got right. Henderson Rooks got right through the line. 
So that moves them back. It's third down, Hawking on the Lackawanna 39-yard line. Three minutes and 20 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. You know, you got three receivers left, one right, up, and we have a f flag on the play uh, from the back judge. Let's see what he's calling here. There's a delay game on Hawking. Uh, that'll back them up five yards. Again, still third down. These penalties keep making them move backwards. Every time they get into uh, get into good territory, they get backed up by penalties. That's a testament to the defense. Woodard takes a snap. Throws a little bit. Oh, an incomplete pass. Uh, Jalen Butler in on the stop. Good stop by him. They tried a little quick uh, wide receiver out there to the screen, and uh, Butler was right in on it and got it. So this is fourth down for Hawking with three minutes left in the fourth quarter. Woodard gets the offense set. And two receivers out right, one out left. Takes a snap, comes back, and here they come again. Pressure, nowhere to go. They're just stopping them all day. You had, again, Hickerson Rooks came right through the line to initially stop them. Then you had Boothman uh, follow up and, and assist on that. So Hickerson Rooks and Boothman, both of them, been coming through the line all day and not letting up. That does a turnover on downs. So the Falcons have a first down with two minutes and 57 seconds left in the fourth, um, in the fourth quarter. And again, coming back at quarterback is uh, freshman Grant Johnson out of Blacksburg, Virginia for his second series. Johnson set, ready for the snap, takes a snap. Hands it off to, to Allen. Actually hands it off to Rashard Jackson uh, for a couple yard gain there. Be second down, uh, second down and eight. Again, this has been complete football today by the Falcons on the defense and offensive side. We've had six, inter, uh, six interceptions. Caval Matt Cavalero has thrown six touchdown passes. The line, defensive line has been pressure in Woodard and White all day long. And Lackawanna's just had their way on both sides of the ball. We have Johnson again ready on second down. Hands it off again. Jackson. Uh, doesn't look like much of a, that was Jackson again on the run. Not much of a gain here with uh, about 2.06 left in the fourth quarter. It's third and eight here for the Falcons. Johnson getting the play in from the sideline. Got Jackson in the backfield with him. And the Falcons are ready to go here on uh, third down and eight. Johnson takes a snap. Again to Jackson, he's around the left, finds his blockers come through, and that's a first down, and he, he's continuing going on 30. Oh, and he's taking down the 25. Nice run by Jackson. They're on third down. Gets down to about the 25-yard line. Another first down for the Falcons with a minute 15 left. Let's see what they do here. Looks like we uh, victory formation. Yep, and that'll be the ball game here with one minute left. Lackawanna leading 69-6. to six. And the Falcons down the ball. And that'll pretty much be the ball game there. The final score will be here from Scranton Memorial Stadium. 
Lackawanna Falcons 69, Hawking College 6. Thank you everybody for joining us here on the Lackawanna College Falcon Athletic Network on here on YouTube Live. Make sure to join us again next week when it's homecoming here at Scranton Memorial Stadium, 1 p.m. kickoff against Nassau Community College. Also, don't forget, it's sophomore day. We'll be honoring the sophomores as, they, uh, as, as we thank them for their leadership and what they've done for this thing. We've got some games left, three more home games to go. Number three, uh, Falcons, thank you again. I'm Chris Sawyer. Next week, uh, John Mandola and I will be calling the game. Thank you, everybody, who, um, who tuned in. And please uh, pass it around. Follow us on at Falcon Sports on Twitter. Also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and check out our website, LackawannaCollege.edu and LackawannaCollegeFalcons.com. Until next week, I'm Chris Sawyer signing off here on the Lackawanna College Falcons Athletic Network.